lives are in danger. We can get away if we can. Tom we live. Look at the stranger and said, what about me, white man? <laughs> he said, we, we, we live, man. And these niggas is talking about, these <laughs> niggas is talking about long rangers. Jay Roman on here talking about songs and shit. I was telling him a song, man. Hey, 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 you say what you want to say, but this, if, if you don't make your woman feel like this, then something you ain't you don't have a program in, in your life and things is going wrong because she said i can't even think of anybody but you because 90 percent of me is you like come on man read the lyrics of that 90 percent of me is you those, those are the dudes that when a relationship end they see no reason to go on and shit she's singing it left with you hey, hey zach she's singing it about him she is she singing it about oh, she's him, about him. Yeah, oh. she's saying I, I can't even think. Of, I can my, my heart ain't my own because ninety percent of it is you. I right, that's, that's 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 a little different then. Man, <laughs> yeah, of course. If it was the other way, I wouldn't mention it at all. I mean, I want I want I want to ask y'all, man. There's, there's a lot of bitch ass niggas being my comments sometimes. Man, y'all, how y'all niggas deal with that yeah. shit? Thinking that. Like, that well, you, be- you know what you do? Like, you time them out, and then you have your guys kick them out. You can't you can't control you can't control losers, man. Can't control. We, it's not the ring. It's not like we can go through the TV screen and fuck them up. You know what I mean? So you just ah, oh, these niggas, man. I mean, what, I, what I noticed is that some of them bitch ass dudes, they'll get under Lucario's channel and say something about Steve, or they'll get under my channel and say something about Miles. And they're like, "Why the fuck you under my channel? Talking about that nigga? Go over there." Yeah, it's fuck, they- fuck boys. You know, and and I'll be wishing that YouTube had a little button. You just pay a little extra at that time, like twelve <laughs> bucks, so you can give you his address. And get, get all this shit, I nigga. I I, I I will pay every week for you bitch ass niggas, man. It's Silent Bob. They they got everybody's address. Yeah, they so be a whole waste of time. And, and knocked on their door, beat the shit out of them. They, they, they it was like a Jay and Silent Bob trade back. They got all the guys talking shit to them. They went and knocked on their door and beat the shit out of them motherfuckers. Yeah, man. It's some. I I, I would have. See, people be thinking we out here like that, man. Some fuck boy shit, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, fuck boy shit. Well. What's going on with everybody out there, man? Appreciate the chats. I see everybody's getting in, man. Uh, we got all the channels rocking and rolling, man. We out here rocking and rolling, man. And uh, man, dog, you know what I mean? Let's let's get this thing going, man. Uh, let's get it going. It's Mad Game Mondays. I'm gonna be everything to you. I'm gonna be your father, I'm gonna be your friend, I'm gonna be your lover. But you gotta believe in me. You gotta believe that everything I tell you to do is for the best. Mac Game Mondays, Mondays. you already know the vibe. Yep. Helping you to level up Woo. till your game is certified. certified. Getting women, make it look easy. And with Mr. 1950, yeah. Jay Roman, and K Zag, Steve the Dean Williams, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, give you the game, make you official. You ain't a lame, show you how to approach and get the number every Monday. So you ain't gotta wonder. Mac Game Mondays, Mac Game Mondays. Monday. Let's go. Man, that shit was solid in a motherfucker, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Solid in a motherfucker, man. You see how you see how he can just transitions and just smoothly goes into some shit, man. I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to point that out. Just wanted to point that out, man. You know, what I mean? people. Nah, nah, man. You know, it's just you know, little, little crisp. But shout out to everybody, man. Welcome to Mac Game Mondays, man. This is this is the panel where we're going to be reviewing a lot of uh, game. This is the this is the show where the call in line. Y'all see that at the bottom. This is the show where you call in. We're only going to be talking about approaching women or text game stuff like that, bro. We're not going to be talking about nothing outside of that. So call with your life problems. You call if you need help with approach or you need help. With you know texting, talking to a bitch. If you had a little situation with a bitch or something that you, you need some quick help with, that's it. You know what I mean? That's what we're gonna work on, man. But today we got a good one for you today, man. We got the balloon challenge, man. We about to uh, 
We about oh, to yeah. we about to we about to knock it out, man. Look here. I'm going what I'm gonna do is I'm so proud of it. I'm gonna play this intro one more time, man, and we're gonna get it started, man. I'm gonna be everything to you. I'm gonna be your father, I'm gonna be your friend, I'm gonna be your lover. But you gotta believe in me. You gotta believe that everything I tell you to do is for the best. Mac Game Mondays, Monday. you already know the vibe. Yep. Helping you to level up uh, till your game is certified. certified. Getting women, make it look easy. And with Mr. 1950, yeah. Jay Roman, and K Zag, Steve the Dean Williams, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, give you the game, make you official. You ain't a lame, show you how to approach and get the number every Monday. So you ain't gotta wonder. Mac Game Mondays, Mac Game Mondays. Monday. Let's go. All right, too, man. We I went ahead and um, turned the phone lines up. Phone lines is up, man. Let's get right into this thing, man. Let's get right into this thing. Let's check him out. Let me make sure the sound is gonna pop in. There it is there. Let's see what we got. No lie, uh, it's not a bad start. Not a bad start. These women as they come in, because there's a what? few of them. Well, I mean, as they walking in, you see how they walked in. There was a few of them that I don't know if she can cut my grass, man. No, no, no. We about, to, we, we about to find out. But the uh, final yeah, yeah. matter of fact, let, let's skip to the. Let's see right here. There you go. Let's just skip it here. Single men, one by one, when they come on out here, if you like him, if he looks good, you like the outfit, haircut, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that you're just like, oh, Lord, this man is not for me, go ahead and pop that balloon. And I'll go over to a few of y'all, see what's going on. Why ended up popping your balloon? Y'all ready? Yeah. Hey. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single man. I need to come out to an intro or something. Here. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Malcolm. What's, what was that? Let's check Malcolm out, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's check Malcolm. Let's, let's check Malcolm out. Let's check, man. Let's check Malcolm out, man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Susan nigga got out. Pay out. Hello. Dude. It was like, oh no, that nigga got that like, Kwame Brown cut, nigga. You know what I mean? That nigga was like, oh no, nah, look at look at the, you know what I mean? Then the, the, look, dog, no, he had to point his toes to get no. Man, who nigga hit his toe? is pointed to the ground. Why he standing? God, why is he standing like that? You're right. I hit that nigga on his tippy toes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my the nigga god. Jeans, oh, nigga's god. jeans. He's like, like, oh. Look at this nigga, man. Look at this nigga, man. The, for, the whole denim outfit, nigga. And and he got no hang? Where's the hang? Nigga, if you got cornrows, your shit's supposed to hang, nigga. You ain't got that, dog. We're going to listen to him. Let's see what we got. Malcolm, like Malcolm X. Okay, Malcolm, how old are you? I'm 32. 32, and what do you do? Um, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have two businesses that I own. That I, own. I have a solution. You hear that? Leading with his wallet. Leading with his money. Off top, bitches. I got a life. You know, I want to let y'all know. Yeah, fifth. Only if he was gonna say anything, he could have left that as entrepreneur. But he mm -hmm. said two businesses that I own. Then he looked at the chicks. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. Immediately, bitch ass nigga, man. That's what entrepreneur means. And also the cleaning service, which I probably manage for. Us. Okay, very nice. Yeah. And uh, Malcolm, what do you look for in a woman? Um, first thing I would say, first and foremost, you have to be a God fearing woman. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, uh, but I would also <laughs> lead with religion, right? I'm a safe guy. I love religion. You know, that's in my book coming up. I'm telling you, I'll tell y'all about my book, but it's coming up. We, we talk about the church game. We talk about how them dudes really try to leverage religion because they actually doesn't have influence. So they try to use God's influence to influence the bitch. 
Oh, God said this. God said that. No, bitch, you supposed to do it because I said so, bitch. That, hey, that's what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? But let's go. Mm -hmm. I'll say someone with accountability, someone also that is just genuinely kind. Okay. So. Cool. All right. Those, those three things are started. Nice. Okay. So we did get a few balloons popped. Let's go over to these ladies, see what's going on. She popped the balloon. It's already popping. Well, she, she popped yeah. that shit because that nigga said accountability. Like, what, what you saying that for? Now, there, you ready? Yeah, I'm interested <laughs> to know. Ma'am, if we can have your name, how old you are. Hi, my name is Fiona. I am 34. Um, and I popped my balloon mainly because of the height. Okay. Um, I do prefer someone a little bit taller just because I wear heels a lot. So that's the only reason. But you're super handsome. Well, trees get chopped down every day. So. Okay. Come on, man. You said trees get cut down every day. Man, I yeah, I don't like the 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 horse hair. I don't like the the. I don't like the see through heel. It's real stripperish. Yeah, it is. It's not really my. It's not really my flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is. No, no, but 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 this is definitely Jay Roman. Uh, yeah. I do like tall good. women, six feet and above, and uh. You like them long, huh? Zena, warrior prince. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this this oh, outfit yeah. breeds yeah. DDS. It breeds Burlington Coat Factory. This Ross. outfit, Ross, Ross. Ross. Ever twenty one. There you go. There you go. Definitely breeds that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear that. Touche. It's okay. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. And now, uh, Malcolm, is Faye your type? Oh, she's a beautiful woman. I, actually, I do love the nose ring. Um, I want to nah, I'm good. Display, yeah. And the orange is lo looking good on you, but it's all love, mama. It's, Thank, it's you. No, Thank you. Very much appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go on down over here. I like where we are right there, the third one. That all big, right, that big one. Can... That's a, that's a. That's too much, that's way too much for you, dog. Come on, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> that, hey, from all the pineapple shows we done done, come on, Zach. We, we know. <laughs> We yeah, know, we know. Come on, he's like Steve. the slim, the slim kind. He like the slim thick. He don't like, like none of that. Short stock. I like short stocky. Man, that that's too stocky for you, dog. And she's like a tree stump. You know what I mean? That's too much for you, dog. Have your name and how old you are? I'm Josette and I'm 29. And Josette, what do you do? I'm a flight attendant and a makeup artist. All right. And why did you end up popping your? Hold on, man. I'm about to see your hands. Did you skip, did you skip a few. Oh, uh, well. No, she no. Oh, oh, she they skipped it. The popped the balloon. Yeah. Just height. Right. That's all. I'm just. I just prefer someone who's taller than me, at least with his. She's taller than you. Right. This, 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 bro, she bought yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. See the problem is. See the problem is she's not into him. Dad she's just, knew. She's just. She's not into him. She's not into him. So because of she's not into him, that's why she's like that. Then quick to quick to judge, man. Hey, cool hey, let, let, me, let me point out something for the guys real quick. Um, guys, I want you to understand a woman can think you're a decent looking man. She can even think you cute, but she just ain't feeling your overall presentation and look. Understand that. I thought you had a phone call, Fifth? Yeah, that wasn't. Uh, yeah, that was. Not for everybody. <laughs> and now, okay. is Josette your type? She's also a very beautiful woman. You guys, you know, I like the aesthetics as well. So I'm like. Each and every one of you guys are beautiful, so I'm not, not. I see you're broken. It is what it is. Everybody likes what they like, you know? I see you. She's broken. And, uh, that, okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go back over here. <laughs> Come on, dog. You know she did that. She could have been popped that nigga. Bitch, you did that for attention. Exactly. Bitch, you, you knew exactly what you were doing right there, bitch. You, the nigga just walked right past you. But you know what I mean? Bitches. One. That's the one. Uh, so I get the height one for this one too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no. If we could have your name and how old you are. Look at I'm that Sierra. Stop. You I'm 27. That? And Sierra, what do you do? You say what? You see that thick? If you go back from the side, you see that thickness on the third one. That that that. that. As he's walking out, pause when you keep going. Watch it. Watch that. We're here. <laughs> so I get the height one for this no. one too. <laughs> Right, Steve, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised, Steve. That's he, surprised. he has <laughs> never talked like this ever. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> He has never talked like this ever. Hey, hey, hey Steve, tell me sometimes things just catch your eye. That's all. <laughs> Steve, Thank you, Steve, Jay Roby. Steve Jay must have done watching some African documentary or Zulu Warriors or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> if we could have your name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27. And Sierra, what do you do? 
I'm a behavior therapist Dance. and wellness coach. Okay, okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Your skinny jeans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Job. Oh my God! <laughs> I keep trying to tell you, fuck boys. <laughs> yeah, good. To be thirty some years old, you in skinny jeans, bro. Come on, man. I keep trying to tell you, fuck boys. Oh my God! I bet you you yeah. hear a few more pops on that. They'd be like, oh, I didn't notice that. He's trying to be too young. He's 32, but he's trying to Honestly, act I'm like he's 22. Honestly, I'm not too fond of him either. They were just bone color, so it's hard to match his um, That nigga said, I'm not too fond of it either. Uh, see, this why nigga would said you wear that. something you don't like? Yeah. You fuck boy. Yeah. Wrong answer. Oh. You fuck boy. <laughs> see, that's Like right I said, I knew he was going to hear some more pops. You said what? Hold on real quick. Let me say this. I knew we was going to hear that some right more pops there, after that. What actually caused him to lose more respect? Because you wearing mm -hmm. something you don't like just because of the color, and on top of that, you explaining your wardrobe. You don't explain yourself to women at all. I got it. I bet you, hey, bitch, I, hey, I bet you when this thing come off, you enjoy every bit of it. You know, I really do fuck with the fit, but do you like what you like? So that's all good, mama. I, ain't yeah. I do like your hair though. Thank you. <laughs> Give me ramen noodle vibes, but hey. I like it. Look. I mean, I've gotten that before. You know, I got curls, so yeah. hey. But no, you are beautiful. Though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, they popping the shit out of them balloons. Pow! 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 Y'all see that thickness in three? That's bro, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> That's way too much for you, dog. That's way too much. <laughs> it's funny when somebody says too much, much now. It's like, nah, nah, challenge that. Nah, nah. I ain't too yeah. much. <laughs> Hey, hey, J, hey, J Roman too. J Roman too. That's way too much, dog. Uh, uh, no. Come on, J Roman. You know I know, bro. It, hey, J Roman love all the slim thicks. Hey, if if, if they tall and slender with with a little with the little boot, oh, hey, that's him right here. Vegas chick was thick. J Roman was she thick in Vegas? Uh, I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, is she someone that you would go for? Come on, man. Like, no, nah, she's a beautiful woman. Like, I, the ramen chip was just a little bit of a joke, but like, nah, I mean, it's okay. Cool. Then they going crazy in here. <laughs> right, let's go out. Yeah, because he, he's starting to seem real <laughs> soft right have now. Your name and how old you? He, he is. On everything he says. That nigga has no fucking authority to himself. None. He's real agreeable. Nucci, and he get nervous. Like, man, I'm running out of bitches. They, they, I'm running out of bitches. <laughs> I'm 25. And Nucci, what do you do? I'm a behavioral health therapist, and I also rap. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon from outside? I'm good. Um, you're a very <laughs> handsome man. I just wish to I tell that bitch, I, be, I tell that bitch, today is the last day you're going to rap, bitch. <laughs> Some of your last day of your art. High hanging fruit. She's low. Like, you would have got the beard a little lined up. Fuck. Um, no, she just <laughs> said that nothing else. Like, height doesn't bother me. Your outfit, you look fly. I'm trying to figure Brains out my beard fly. look a little off at, but. I mean, you got a little scruffs. You got a little scruffs. But, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was kind of the intent. Cause it's, um, oh, if that's what you like, then, you know, it's no shade. It's no shade at all. It's just not what I prefer. You're right. Presentations, everything. Yeah. My but you're very no, handsome. No, you ain't right. Shit. Okay. And now, I know you said you're agreeable to everything. Is there anything in particular that you're feeling about Nucci? Um, I like her honestly, to be honest. Like she likes what she likes, so I can't disagree with that. So, like, why would I? I mean, hey, shout out to K Love. I appreciate the cash app. Straight up, man. I really appreciate you. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah, thank you. She has a pretty face if you're asking her anything about her. Her what, what are you popping for? Pretty face? <laughs> 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 That's a start. Thank you, Nishi. I'm gonna try to be that guy, but yeah, thank you as well. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Quay. This bitch with the fuzzy bucket hat I had the audacity, bitch. I done told this bitch, I know you didn't pop this motherfucking <laughs> balloon, bitch. I'm and Quay, why did you end up? Oh, sorry, Quay, what do you do? Um, I'm a courtroom uh, operations manager. Okay. Or how does she dress you popping your balloon? <clears throat> um, it's just, I like a dark. Court, hold on, courtroom operations manager? Ain't no with, such with thing. A, with, right, with a nose earring. I don't like the nose earring, and I don't like the two chains down here, man. We got. I don't like, man. Hell no. Mm -mm. That that that's a woman. No, she's not even dressed in the part, right? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Either, I gotta man. I gotta look that one up. I don't even know that's a real career courtroom operation manager. I don't like finger. I don't like finger. Uh, 
rings either, the though. Sleeve, the sleeves, right? With the little with the hand that goes Yeah, but I don't like the finger. You see the finger ring zag right there on the finger? Oh, yeah. Like, like, I, I, yeah I, I don't like that shit why is that on the pointer, bitch? Yeah, y'all are nitpicky. Why is that on the pointer, bitch? You said we nitpicky. Nah, yeah. nigga. Hey, you know what it is? You know what certain type of dress does? It tells me their personality. You can tell an eclectic little bitch by the way she dress. You can tell a ratchet bitch on how the way she dress. You can tell a bougie bitch, and you can tell a bitch with some class just by the way they dress. You can tell what type of vibe that bitch is going to probably have. You have class. You said what? She didn't have class. No, this one. I know. I mean, well, I don't know. I, I see something in this one. Even though it's not my style, it's not my style. I think she's very. Uh, she's in the coachable range. I'm telling you, a few little, few, a few little, uh, you know, uh, sips of 1950. I think her whole life would change. The bucket hat will be gone. The rings on the hand, the rings on the finger, the nose rings, and all the shit. She'll be gone. That shit'll be gone. To your, to your point, like fifth. To your point, um, I think women more so than men tend to uh, pick out clothes that accentuate their personalities. The personalities, yeah. So it's like a, a message they're trying to convey. Even how they how they accessorize shit. All right, so I, I I think what you said is, is spot on, fam. Uh, I don't know who Lewis is. You're throwing the word bitch out there a bit too much. Look here, you Captain save a ho Okay? <laughs> We're not over here saving bitches, okay? So if you don't like it, get the fuck out! Silverback, Silverback. <laughs> We're not out here playing, nigga. Today, <laughs> we not we not playing today. Man, hey, you're hey, being too uh, mean to the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking captain, save a hoe. I can't stand a captain. Fuck. You know what? You shouldn't say bitch. Look, I mean, first of all, I say bitch like a West Coast nigga, man. Hey. I said, well, and you know what? A lot of women love to be called a bitch. They love it. They love it. You know what it is? You, you can't call him a bitch. You can. I can. <laughs> Hold on. Who are you talk? Who are you calling a bitch? That's what they say to him. Who are you calling a bitch? But then when it's me, ooh, call me whatever you want. But Call me whatever you want. Much. He said a bit too much. So like was 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 the seventh time too much? Was, was oh six God. appropriate? Yeah, I say bitch every other the yeah. time. Amen. Like, hey man. It's a part of the culture, homie. You know what I mean? It's a card of card of how I rock, homie. So you you know what I mean? If you don't like it, man, look here, man. Look here, man. Mr. Show. Mr. Show, motherfucker. It's, it's a term of endearment. It's a word that's firmly planted in my vocabulary. So and, and also too, I don't know if he knows, but when you in there and you in there hitting the bottom of that bitch and then you grab her throat and you say, look here, bitch, don't move again. Bitch, don't move again. Bitch, don't move. See, this is how I know you ain't like that. You ain't like that. You're like, hey, can I can I now grab your ass? I know I'm 26 strokes in. Can I grab your ass, please? You fuck boy. Or, or fuck! Fuck around. You have to ask, ask her, was it too hard? Oh, was that too hard? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, he tap, he spank ass like this. Look. Nah, nigga, you need to be uh, a fucking bitch. <laughs> I don't love you, girl. Around the same height. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fuck. Yeah, hey, I, read I think we're pretty close. close. About these hats the that women wear. Wait, how, how tall are you? And they actually have an article that stated the amount of inches the rim of the hat yeah. needs and how much face it will cover with your blemishes and your ugliness. So yeah. when women wear hats, I don't trust it. Some something going on. You're very insecure about your face. I mean, shout out to the shout out to the super chat man. You know what it says? I get Popeye's chicken worker vibes from all of them. <laughs> Silverback. <laughs> Pre appreciate that, man. He's a Popeye chicken. We appreciate that, I man. Been in a while, man. Fuck, man. I ain't maybe one. I don't know what you talking about, nigga. I, about a week ago, with the biscuit. No, I'm man, good. Yes, I'm good. Guys, Popeyes, more man. Shit. And how tall are you? Five ten. Okay, okay. That nigga whispered so now, it, bitch ass um, nigga. Is Quay your tall? 
And you yeah, whispered it. Up. And the hat is definitely very fitting. It's cool. It's cute. And again, with the piercings, I'm, ugly, I'm one for one of those. So, like, it's cool. Uh, Why is he pandering? Okay. There we go. We already spoke to you, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Popped your blood on me, but hey, I got a cousin <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Jessica, and I'm 31. And Jessica, what do you do? Uh, I work in nonprofit, and I also model uh, as Yep, well. I'm out. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your I'm balloon? Out. Uh, so you it was king? the comment about the ramen noodles. Oh, so I know y'all so, gonna call it. Oh, you a king? You said but, pot during some ramen. I just wanted to let that be known, but it's cool. Right? Yep. So what? She trying to pretend. Okay, she popped the balloon because he said the ramen noodle comment, and that and that, all these women are talking a little bit dirty on the side. And he just said one thing about her hair, and she popped the balloon because she didn't like his attitude. Mm. Fuck out of here, man. All right, here it goes here, man. Appreciate uh, appreciate the super chat. We need a chick. Uh, was a Chick Fil A? A service over here? What a chick? What a Chick Fil A? Is that what he meant? A Chick Fil A service yeah. over here? Okay, because we're talking about Popeyes. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Just like Target and Walmart, man. You know what I mean? It's a difference. Tarje. They call it Tarje. Tarje. Yeah. Still hood motherfuckers walking up there. No, because, I mean, she said that, you know, she didn't like guys with skinny jeans. But Hold on. This one right here, though? She ain't. Hold up. Uh, hey, that's what I mean, said. Uh, it's all you, bro. I'm out. Hold up. That's you. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, hey. I got hey, a man. cousin for you. I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, man, little, uh, little yammy. You know what I mean? I think, One, nine, five, four, two, three, five, four, eight, four, six. I think Zag know, too, man. We got a call here, man. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, this Mac Gang Mondays, man. It's 50. Who this? He's a bitch. You said who? You said who? <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, you know what it is, man. These motherfuckers call. I do call it it. I. <laughs> this is how you know. I ain't never seen that? more grown men. This nigga said he, this thing said you was a bitch and hung up. Just, yeah. just hung up. <laughs> what? I, I didn't get a chance. What? Yeah, yeah he he identify himself. So. Bitch, bitch ass know. nigga, man. You know, wow. bitch ass nigga. Really served you no shade, so it was like you really kind of went. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, the ramen noodles. This shit look like ramen a little bit too. Oh, oh, oh! See, I'm I'm a cold nigga, man. I got your name, Jada. Hey, I got your name, Jada. Don't have me bust your motherfucking ass out, nigga. I got your name and number on this motherfucker, man. Don't play me, dog. Don't play me, dog. (laughs) Don't fuck with me. He the guy. Don't fuck with me. I will drop your shit in this chat. Don't don't fuck with me. Hey, that's the type of guy that gets that last punch in when somebody's jumping somebody, right? Uh, he flew to the over. panel. He want to do that last punch. Yeah, he's a bitch ass nigga, man. That's Might want to stay in his lane though. Okay. It, was it, it really a, won't. That's right. I'm saying, but understood. It, but that was it. But I think you're extremely handsome. You got some swag to you. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I dig it. You don't like the jeans though? Are you? You look good. Nigga asked a bitch, is you like these jeans, bitch? All right. Future references. <laughs> might make it easier. And now, uh, is Jessica you someone that you would approach? Also a very beautiful woman. I like the earth tones on it, you know. You. Sleek with the Apple Watch on there. Like, gives me, like, nah, gives me businesswoman vibes. Like, nah, you cool. He looked at that Apple yeah. bottom, dog. He ain't watching that I, think, I thought the ramen thing was kind of funny, but you know, it was. No, so but I, I chuckled for sure. As a group but of women, you're supposed to hold it down for other women, so I truly appreciate. It. I'm a <laughs> no, 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 no. Pause, pause, pause. This this nigga is a this nigga is a cornball. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you should have told her. I'm glad you popped the balloon, because you know I said a joke about somebody and, and you couldn't take it. So well, you sir. know, he has he has says nothing. He has says nothing. <laughs> To say this is who I am, and I don't care what y'all think any otherwise. Yeah, man, he's a fuck boy. You can tell. Okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. I'm um, Kayla. I'm 31. And Kayla, what do you do? I work in the banking industry. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? He's a bank teller, um, making sixteen dollars an hour. I'm all right. Um. Okay. I like the glasses. I like women with glasses. I like sometimes I like the glass look, set nerd what is, look. What did, what did my nigga Biggie say in the Luke song? He said, "Man, I like I like him with the glasses." So he said, "I like him educated, so I can bust up on the glasses." Um, I feel like we would be like really good friends. 
Fuck. Oh, that's cool too. We what? can. You working at the bank? <laughs> we can. This nigga. This nigga said we can be friends. Yeah, yeah. You work at the bank. We can be friends. What type of nigga is this? Yeah, we could be sure good friends. I'm a yeah. business owner. Yeah, okay, can, that's yeah. cool. That's, okay. that's cool, man. And now you said he's handsome. Hold on, hold on, so man. what on, made man. you on, say you? You pause it. First of all, I would have been like, and I would have said it to every chick in here. Any woman I deal with that I invited to my life were lovers first. Mm-hmm. And I would have left it at that. <laughs> Walked away on her. Yeah. Walked away. Walked away, away to the next the call. Yeah, next. You can only be friends with him. Um, I guess it's just like a feeling I have. Damn. Yeah. He's a cornball. She knows it. Say it. <laughs> if you got uh, if if feeling we're about friends, that, we might talk about it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, okay, that's cool. Right. That's right. Tell me why. <laughs> and now is Kayla your type? Oh, yeah, she's pretty beautiful as well. Like you know, I love the crosses. Obviously, I love the crosses. Obviously. Jacket's fitting for the fit. Uh, yeah, no, she's, cool. she's like a beautiful woman. Thank you. Cool. Look, 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 look. Let me tell you. I'm gonna let y'all know. Could you imagine fifty on the show? <laughs> bitch, hey, bitch, hey. You pop your balloon. It's a roast session. Oh, we roasted. <laughs> oh, bitch, we roasted. Oh, you don't like my fit, bitch. I don't like your fit. What up? What are those? <laughs> you know what I mean? I immediately went in, and let me tell you. You know what they said? This bitter man. Emotional. Nah, bitch, we who, roasting who out here. You? Who hurt yeah. you? Yeah, hold on, bitch. We roasting, bitch. Hold on, bitch. We roasting? You don't like these jeans? Well, bitch, these is my jeans. What about that weave, bitch? I've been on it. I'd have been on it, though. Okay, here goes fucking. It's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, let's go right <clears throat> over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 my God. Sonic Zoro, bro. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Dog, she, hey, let me just say this, dog. Jay Roman, hey, this is his style. Jay Roman, no. Jay, oh, yo, oh, he liked the eclectic uh, 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 poetry bitches. He liked the, hey, the night. Two different ranges. Man. The, no, no, no. Hey, she tall. She yeah. tall. Hey, the little, the little. The little Eric Badu, uh, uh, motherfucking NDI rehat and shit. Yeah, I'm not exactly. feeling the hat. Like I'm not girl. feeling the long, the long hair way past. Yeah, I don't you like know, that. I don't even know, what is that? What's wrong like with her that. tip of her ear right there? Uh, yeah. I mean, is that a vampire? What, what the fuck is wrong with her ear? Is it pointy? Well, she got, she got, she got dread. I don't, hey, I don't give a fuck with nothing. nigga. If I seen the ear, I'd have been like, bitch, the audacity. Look, Look I'd have just went, hey, hey, I'd have went just like this. Bitch, the audacity, bitch. I know you ain't talking with that ear. Look at that ear, bitch. <laughs> Them motherfucking, is she Spock? This is Spock. This is a Spock bitch from Star Trek. She's a techie. Look at these. And you know what? This is the after. Look, look, she got a voodoo doll earring. My nigga, this is what I'm saying. We got to really watch this shit. Dog, look at this. This is African market fucking uh, earrings. She probably made this at home. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I appreciate her making things and uh, <laughs> the selling them out the market. Got some <laughs> this is not for me, though. It's not for me either. Oh, man. I'm sorry, you know, dog. I like natural curl. That ain't natural. That's crusty. No, no. that, and, and, like that. and the, and the overbite is vicious. The overbite is vicious. You see this right here? Yeah. We're not seeing that. She can struggle closing her mouth. Let's see what this bitch had to say. The audacity. I'm Taylor and I'm 28. And Taylor, what do you do? Damn, she looks I'm 40. Owner. She looks older than 20. Yeah. I thought she was 21. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, first off, I think you're very handsome as well. The outfit's creamy. You look yeah, good. Yeah, I got the. Um, yeah. Get the tickled on my fancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you said you're five ten. I don't think you're five ten. Are you six foot? No. Oh, well. No, baby. Okay. I'm five seven, but maybe I mean, five nine. I mean, with the heels off, I'm okay. Five nine. I'm, you know, I can't puts. like. No, no, you know, you're cool. Do your thing. That's wanna... fine. You can. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell she got on? Hold on. I don't know, but look at those down there. Oh my God! Do we see those feet down there, though? Bro, what the hell? No, look at that. Bitch, paint your toenails. 
Is that is that yeah, a painted? Look, is that is yeah. that white around behind it? Like a oh. ladies. Let, let me say this to like, the look at them shoes. They're worn, bro. It's if like it's, they're, out, they're worn. If you come outside with your toes out and you don't have them painted, you are in violation. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> oh nigga, this is they're worn. Man. God, nigga, this is you know what I mean? And then we're gonna go up here, dog. It's just it's looking real low level, low budget. Oh my god. Can't do it, dog. Sonic boom. Can't do it. Put anything in question you would like. That's all good. Take your time. You look good, though. Thank you. You mm -hmm. as well. Thank you. I like okay. the Cam Newton hat. Oh, okay. oh, the Cam. I don't know noise. You can't be like Alicia Keys, like Eric No, Biden? that's my baby, so I can't just... Oh, okay, yeah. See, I'm glad I popped the balloon. That's okay. Wait, bitch, I'm glad too, bitch. And now, is she your type? No, I thought she has a good precedent about her. She's no, like, she's not my type. Like, see, no, see, no. see, that's the problem. No, that's the man. problem. Look. That's the problem with you men. You can't be a man when it's time. You can't be, hey. man. Hey, man, what is hey, this? I, what is this, dog? What, 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 what is this, dog? Hey, 50, thoughts on men practicing semen retention help cleanse their aura. <laughs> their aura. <laughs> hey, man, let me just say this to you, dog. Let me say this to you, dog. Anybody practicing semen retention... Uh, it's just you, you're not you're not able to get pussy. That's just going. I'm just gonna keep it a band. Um, you know, if you if you you're kicking bitches out of your bed because you know what I gotta retain this semen. You know what I mean? I I, I can't help you, dog. I just I don't understand that whole phenomenon. You know what I mean? So that's oh, that's he, just he, he in a chat saying all men should practice. Man, look, take that goofy ass shit and leave it where you found it. Yeah, well. Oh man. It's wild. Here we go. Like most any woman that's like that, like <laughs> got a great decision. <laughs> All the bitches pop the balloon. He's he spending too much time with this. Are you waiting for a definite answer? I would no. Okay. No. Fifth. Not at all. Why not, why not have a definite <laughs> answer? Come real quick. Guys, if you are in the midst of a bunch of women. And, and there are situations going on where they're saying things about your outfit and all that. And he's too agreeable and he's he's making a concerted effort not to come off like an asshole. He ain't got no edge to him. And that's probably why they're really popping the balloons because there is no assertiveness. There is no dominance emanating from this nigga's core and shit. He's too soft. He's soft in the motherfucker. Look at this cornrows. Got the Kawhi Leonard's. Come on, my nigga. You got to have your shit hang. Over here. She like, my shit slide. Is it Cam Newton? What is it? No, no balloon. Oh, such a humor on that side. <laughs> Thank you. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. You got five. My name is Shannon Marie, and I'm 30. Oh, 29. I'll be 30 soon. Okay. And what do you do? Real simple. Cover up a little dress. You know, she's too skinny. Nice, nice neck, though. She has a very nice... <laughs> neck. I mean, she has a nice neck, loops. Um, yeah, she, she's a little too on the skinny side for me. She's a little, she's, yeah, she's, she's, she has a brand new shape. You know what I mean? That's Clock one four zero four three four two six. She got a brand new. She got a brand new shape, dog. That's not. She all right. She all right. Hey, this this Mac Game Mondays is fifty. Who this? I see y'all boys still ain't got no receipts. Man, who we? Man, who this? Who this? It's a listener. No, no. Y'all boys hey, got hey, all hey, the smoke hey, for everybody. Man, who, hey man who to this? make this conversation go a little faster, you got to turn down. Yeah, and your, yeah, your, turn down your back, man. And, you listen to man, the background. And, and uh, what's your name, dog? So we can hear you. What's what's your name? I'm gonna fucking hang up. You know, man, hey, he was a bitch ass nigga, dog. Call hey. him. Nigga, mm -hmm. you a bitch. Straight up and down, dog. Come on, man. Yeah, they, if you're going to call in, at least oh, be a man. Oh, oh, the chat it. pointed him out, Willard. <laughs> that, was, Willard? that was Willard. That nigga called me. No. That's why your daddy didn't want you, Willard. You remember? 
Remember at Christmas time you called us and you were so sad overseas because you didn't know who your dad was? This is why your dad left you on the phone. He knew he was going to be a loser, Willard. He left you on a he left you on a stadium step. Plus one four zero four three four two six. Oh, hold on, let me see. Is this Willard? Hey, is, is this Willard? Oh, is this Willard? Yes or no? Hey, 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 hey. we can't hear you because you're a hey, hey, and, and turn your turn the turn the YouTube back in the back off. I don't. I don't got no. I don't got YouTube on in the back. Well, I don't know what you got going on in the back because we can hear an echo from it. Tijuana, is this you? Tijuana, say it ain't so, Tijuana. This Willard. This Willard, right? Oh, I'm about to block this nigga, man. You know. You know it's weird. He asked for a receipt, but yeah, he listens to us and shit. Hey, man. You know I'm cold, dog. Hey. Listen to us for a couple years now, bro. He called in for a couple of my shows and shit. That's weird. Bitch ass nigga, man. But anyways, man, it's back to the show. Oh, I'm a hairstylist. It's all right. And mm -hmm. why did you end up popping your balloon? I didn't like that petty comment. It, that was not cute. Oh you could have said Erica Badu. You could have said anybody else. But yeah, Cam Newton, like, like, come on. And she so because she, look at this bitch. And then all that's you to have the cross on, bitch. Hold on. Has locks like his locks are not the best. So like, I'm not looking at that grown man's locks. Like I'm a that. big fan of his though. I'm saying though, but he has exquisite. But you like, compared it, it to a, a male, you could have said a female. Just because it's a man. Why that you is nice man. Woman, man. This is how you know he's soft. I Plus one four zero four three four two six three zero one MR nineteen fifty. Yeah, we're not we we we're not doing with Willard no more, dog. Keep hanging up. He, he he look a little shabby sometimes, and she looks beautiful. I never denounced. Oh my god, I hate him. Let me let me let me talk to you over here. That's how I look. Look. Oh my gosh. Man. Let, let me let me say this. You okay. know you're feeling me. <laughs> as, as, as much as I love women, y'all call everybody beautiful. You cannot take a woman's word for for what the fuck beauty mean and shit. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying, come on now, that chick is not. She is not very attractive. <laughs> she just isn't. Hey, MF James said, "Will somebody love me, Willers? <laughs> Willers bring basket, baby." Nigga, <laughs> 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 dad left his ass. That's why you ain't got no daddy. Yeah. That's why you ain't got no daddy, Willard. That's exactly why you're a bitch. He was like, man, this is bad DNA, man. Fuck. You know how animals in the wild, if there's something wrong with a child when they're born and they're fucked up, they kill them. Did you know that? They said, oh, this DNA is bad, man. Fuck that. Did we, hey. Or, or hey. if it's a bird, they're kicking out the nest. <laughs> kicking that motherfucker out the nest. You know, kind of like, like the father did Willard. That's what he did with the Willard. Get the fuck out of here. Poor guy. It's a little petty. Okay. It was a little petty. Okay, so apart from that comment, um, was is he your type? Um, I like the way he dresses, <laughs> and he seems really cool. But plus one four one zero three five three two four zero four. Look, look here, look here. <laughs> All right, we got a call here. You held on. To hey, this, hey, this so fifth hey. Mac Game Mondays, man. Who this? Hey, this is John. John. How you doing today, John? You on the you yes. on the you on the air, man? What's going on with you, John? All right, great. I asked a woman out for a second date. We had a good first date. Uh, after for the second, I said to her, uh, "Come to my house at seven o'clock. We will then drive together to the location. You know where we're going." She responded and said, uh, "That sounds great, but can I meet you there instead?" Now, from what I've learned from you guys so far. That's no interest that I'm charging her to the game. Not at all, but man. Then I thought, not at all. Hold on, call, real quick, call her. I don't know. Maybe she's not, maybe she's nervous. Yeah, yeah. Maybe real quick, call her. Real quick, call her. I'm gonna let K Zach goes. I know he he's probably thinking the same thing as me, but I'm gonna let you go ahead and go, Zach. Why would you call her to your house just to leave and go to another location? That makes no sense. That's stupid. It was just the. It was, no, it's just the the where where we live. She lives in the city. I live 
out and then we were going the other direction. Caller. So it was Caller. kind of a way to it was kind of a way Caller. to come on Caller. this way. Caller. Why don't we be honest? I'll go ahead and say I'll go ahead. You. Go ahead well, let me just say this real quick. This is what she was thinking. He is trying to trick me into going to his house so he can try to convince me to go in. That's what she's and thinking. Just in. Yeah, why 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 are you trying to get her to your house so bad? Why are you so damn desperate? Well, that's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering if she's thinking. That's why I'm calling because I, uh, my first thought was we could go together and have the option to come back. Why you? Why do you want to meet her? Why do you want her to meet you at your place for what? So we can drive together to the next location, to the location we're going to go. You can't meet her. And she okay, dog? She don't trust you, dog. There's something weird about your Jeffrey Dahmer in your ass. She don't want to go by your place. What makes you think she she's telling you right now? I'm not that into you. You can't understand that. Well, that's what I'm. I'm trying to figure out. Is she? I mean, we had a good first date. We were kissing at the end of the date. She said she wants to go out again. Mm. So I texted her with that. She said it sounds good, but she said, "Can we just meet at the place?" Because she wants to. She said she had something in the morning. So I assumed she was either lying or didn't nah, want to come man, back I mean, here. I'm gonna tell you. Should I, should nah. I just, Nah, I man, you, you're good, man. Hey, man, she's cool with meeting you there. First and, for, first and foremost, the guys is on my membership. Shout out to my membership, man. I'm going to pat myself on the back. You know what I mean? Silver, silverback. Silverback! <laughs> to all my silverbacks out there, you know what I teach, all right? I always teach that, hey, we meet a woman there, and we continue to meet a woman there until we vet this woman. Look, I don't, right. look, I don't even trust her in my vehicle. She can say anything. I groped her. I grabbed her. She can literally say anything. Look, I don't know this woman like that. And I'm, I look, I'm going to find out who she is after a while, but not only for protection, but in case this, in case she's not listening, following directions and she got an attitude, whatever it is, I'm out. And she is responsible for herself. Once she gets in your vehicle, you're responsible for it. Go ahead, Steve. No, no, watch this. I think, see, let me show you why he's dirty macking. So he, she gets to his place. They drive. He tries to make a move on her. She says no and resists. He can just get in his car and go and, and leave her stranded. Mm -hmm. So there's, uh, I, and I would tell women out there, be careful of these guys out there that do this kind of stuff because they want to put you in a position that you're going to have to say yes or you got to walk home or something and you don't know what he's going to do. So ladies, please run away from my voice. Like that dude is weird. That dude is weird. Hey, hey, cool. hey, caller. This, so this, this then is, what's, uh, the, what's the move then? Hey, 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 caller. This is Jay Roman real quick. And, and let me, let's, let's go to your mentality on this, right? Why was it so important for you and her to drive together? Well, no, as I said, it was just the way she lives in the city. I live about 30 minutes out, and we were going to go 20 minutes the other direction. So I thought okay, we, had, we sat there. We had a good time together for three hours. I, did, I, I was thinking that she wasn't going to think I'm some killer, you know, so I was just right, offering right. me halfway. Like you, you said that before. I'm, I'm not asking you the plan. I'm asking you why you thought it was so important for you guys to drive together. Oh, rather than just say, yeah, I'll meet you there. No big deal. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz I guess I I was just listening to Miles and Lucario earlier saying if if they don't jump on your plan, you're done immediately. And that just hit okay. me as, well, maybe that's not right because as you're saying, she so, might so, think this isn't safe. So my thing is you're this, right. like, I'm going to keep asking the question because you haven't answered it. And Thank I think you. really because because you thought, and I'm going to go with Steve on this, maybe it got late. And when you drove back to your spot, she might stay the night. See, my, my, my thing is, though, let's, let's think about safety, your safety, safety of your program, safety of whatever you got going on, and then also hers. Wouldn't it be smart for somebody to say to meet you there if she doesn't really yeah, feel absolutely. You, you and trust you? So then why would absolutely. it bother you? For, why would it bother you for her to say that? See, sometimes we make problems just because out of she that's not really a problem. Well, just because she contradicted you? what I suggested. Is, no, it, no, no, is no. it already over no. because I would change no, no, my no. plan because of her? Did I... She didn't contradict what you suggested because she said, okay, can I just meet you there? Contradicting to me what you suggested is saying, 
uh, that's that's a little far out. How about we choose somewhere a little closer, and I'll meet you there. Let me. Okay. Then I guess the is the answer to is. If the answer to my question, can I just say to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, good. we're definitely going to get to the answer for you. We're definitely getting there. I got you. Look, a couple of things. Number one, three hours on a first date is a long time to spend with a woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's one. I was about to say that too. Two, just because a woman makes out with you and kisses you does not imply sexual desire or sexual interest. It does not imply that. Number three, if you're going to invite a woman to your house, you may as well invite her there for the evening, not there to meet you there to leave to go to another place. Again, call her. You you have to you always have to think about why are you making the decisions you're making? What are you hoping to happen from it? It makes no sense for you to have a woman meet you at your house if the plan isn't for her to come inside and spend some time with you there. Makes no sense. What? Well, here's a question. He, where is he taking her? We were we were going to go to a bar to see a band. So let me ask you a question. You spent if you spent three hours with a woman and she ain't trying to fuck, then dog, you're wasting your time because you understand you're going to a place where the music is loud and you can't really talk. You're just standing there watching a band perform. Just like going to a theater, sitting there watching a movie and leaving. You're not even connecting with her. What's, why are you going to see a band? For what? Well, the, the way this town's set up, it's kind of it's not as loud as it, you're thinking. It's not a loud, so, loud band. You can sit okay. there and talk. All right, so, it. so call her. You know, call her. I'm going I'm to give you the result. I'm going to give you what you should be doing, okay? First and foremost, never, ever be led by a woman. It doesn't matter what it is. Never be led by a woman. I would not charge her to the game, though. All right? I would not charge her. All that. That's, look, look. Let me ask you this. Did you smash at the end of the night? Three hours, did you smash? You didn't even get a kiss, I bet. No. But you did. You did. You was tonguing her down. Did. You was tonguing her down and stuff like that, right? Was you in the car? Was you in the, yes. in the restaurant? I mean, where were you at? We were. We were like holding hands, walking back to her. Okay, car. so let like me ask you this. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna I'm ask you this. Did you want to smash? Yes or no? I, yes, I would have if she, if uh, look, look if it, it worked it, out. But if if what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now, now. This is why we call this Mad Game Mondays. Okay, we're gonna reenact this. All right, and I want you to close the deal on this woman. All right, and what I mean by that. You want to smash, so I need you to tell her that's exactly what we're going to do. I need you to give her directions. Don't ask. You give her directions on smashing. You got me? Give her directions on what? Say that again. On smashing. I need you to give her directions on smashing. So we're going to reenact this really quick in the parking lot. All right? So look, we're in a, okay. we're in a parking lot. You were making out with her. She's standing there. She's looking at you. Go. I want you to come back to my place right now. We can have a good time after after this. Okay. What you want to What you want to do is, and that wasn't okay. So that was very. Uh, that wasn't very uh, uh, intriguing, right? It wasn't impactful. So let fifth help you, right? You look in her eyes. Say, look here. I don't play around with all this kissing and stuff. I'm gonna bring you back to my house. And I'm going to fuck you like you've never been fucked before. Get your stuff. Follow me. And you're going to come all night. See the difference? Yeah, huge difference. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so now I want you to say it. No, no, no. And I, and, I, and I want you to say it. Like you would say it, but I want you to say it. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm trying to help you out here is because you should have already smashed. She wanted to smash. I'm going I'm to be honest with you. The bitch don't want to hang with you three fucking hours. She's waiting for you to She's waiting for you to give her directions to smash. All right? So let's get going. All right? You, look, you, you, you kissed her. She's looking you right in the face. Go. All right. I want, you to, I want you to come back to my place. I think. Uh, Slow it down. Hold on. Slow it down. Spot. Your cadence, <laughs> see, hey, you see your cadence, you see 50's cadence was, hey, blah, blah, blah. I, my cadence was lit. My cadence was this, look. 
You see this? That was my cadence tour. Yours is this. You know, fast means what? Fast means yeah. what? Nervous. So let's slow this down. Let's say it right. And let's get to it. All right? She's looking at you. You made out. She's looking at you. She's waiting for you. What are you going to say? All right. Why don't you come on back to my place? Nope. I want to fuck you like you've never been before. <laughs> you may, okay, so it's, it's so so you can't ask, caller. You cannot ask. Yeah. You said why don't you? I don't don't. It's not an option. You got it. You got it, yeah. Steve. Go ahead. Here's the thing, caller. This is why you can't ask. Who are y'all talking about for three fucking hours? Can you tell us what y'all were talking about for three hours? Oh, we. Well, time actually went fast. I mean, I looked at the clock and I thought, oh, shit. I, I mean, I've listened to you guys. I know three hours long. And I was sitting there. I was surprised. We were all sorts of stuff. I asked you. talked about the bands you wanted to go see. What were you talking about for three fucking hours? Oh, work stuff, friends stuff, dating situations. I mean, just the situa- people we saw there looking at, pe- looking at other people. And then, mm-hmm. then you and then you can't do what fifty's tell you to do because you ain't built like that. You're built to be the guy that when one of these guys are fucking her, she's gonna come to you to get a hug or to uh, be a shoulder to cry on because you're not the guy. You do you, do you wanna you wanna again call her? We're gonna do this one more time. I need you to slow it down oh, before we go God. there. Fifty before we go there. Who who initiated the kiss? How how did you get to the kiss? I said, oh, we, as we were walking out, I just looked at her and I said, "I want to kiss you." Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You, you, asked, asked, you asked, asked her. You asked her. You. I didn't ask. I said I. I didn't ask. I said I want. To. Yeah, but you suggested it. You suggested it. it's like asking. You're not giving, you know, you, have you ever been, hey, I, I know, I know, we, we done, have you ever, a, a woman doesn't say, can you get her blanket, what she say is, I'm cold, oh, I'm so cold, and she's making suggestions as if she wants you to get it, that's like asking, no, bro, we gotta give directions, and we're teaching you some true game right now, so this is my last time, huh? hey, yeah, yeah, one more time, one more time, I want you to slow your speech down, and I want you to tell her, you want hey look get your stuff come to the house i'm gonna fuck this shit out of you and you're gonna be coming all night let's go and i want you i want you to say it so okay she's looking at you she's waiting on you go all right get your stuff come to my house i want to fuck you like you've never been fucked before you're gonna be coming all night long Silver right, come, on, come on, man. We got to give him. We got to give him. We got to give him. We got to. I know what y'all saying, but dog, the progression. I'm only going, hey, man, I'm, a, hey, I'm, hey, I'm like, a, you know how we did in football. It's a progression. When the motherfucker comes from you. super cornball, you said what? I want to know how you kissed her. You, you you can't peck and then and then turn around and say that like you you you, you gotta kiss her soul out and, and, and then look in those eyes and say this is what it is right. If he I don't kiss at all. Goodbye, kiss how can he say that? Well, 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 hey hey hey, call her real quick, man, because I'm gonna throw you back in in a second, man. All right, so look, this is what this is what you do. All right. It's okay for her to meet you there, especially if, you know, she got to work or whatever. She still wants to come see you. But look here, I would cancel that. I would tell her, come over to my house. Hey, put on red (laughs) and let's fuck. Fifth, you're right, but he's not that. Well, let's talk about friends. No more dates, bro. No more dates. Three hours is like four dates. Three hours is like four dates in one. And then know, why are you guys he, going to this yeah, band? Yeah, yeah. Who, who is it? Your favorite band? Is this where you Who were going? Shit. No, we don't. It, it's just a. It's just a, a town that has a bunch of music, and it's something that's just fun to go do. You know, we could jump from bar to bar and just see this 
see these guys play, see these guys play, walk around. We be bar fucking, home fucking. Why are we bar? Why? Okay, what is the game plan? You're going to go bar hopping. What's the game plan? Get her drunk enough then to bring her back to your house because you're the one driving her? What's, what's the game plan here? No. What's no, the game the ga- plan? The game plan, was to, the game plan is to get to know her more, to see if it's worth bringing her back, to see if she wants to, to see if I want to. I mean, I don't even, you know what I mean? We're just still feeling each other out. Now, you know she wants to fuck or not. You know. Don't. Come I'm, on, I'm with you, caller. Caller, call I'm gonna give question. you some props because at least you were in motion, you in action. I, I don't know how y'all hooked up and got the number and, and made this date, but y- y- you're in motion. And, and so, <laughs> all I'm saying no, is, the, with this guy. you he's gotta align some the stuff up. To he's make gonna be the friend zone by the end of the night. Okay. Yeah. So, you want to fuck? Well, let me let me ask the caller this. Let me ask the caller this. When you guys were making out, okay, did you make out more than once, or was it just a, a one-time situation where you guys kissed for a little bit? No, it was like four times on the walk back. The first time, it, okay, she's okay, shorter now, than me. Now, so the first time, okay, it was kind of like, now, we, you know. Okay, now, call her. Hold on, listen. This is important. At any given moment, was she grabbing for your joint? No. So, so when you she were kissing her, why did you her just up. say we can, let's continue this next week back at my place? What was so what was so wrong with doing that? Why don't you call her right now and say, you know what, let's go ahead and forget about this bar stuff. And you know what? Why don't we continue where we left off when we were kissing? Why y'all back- giving this nigga hope? He ain't fucking. I always see me, baby, to let his nuts drop. I mean, he 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 he's already in the friend zone if he goes to that damn bar. You better not go see that band. You see that band, you're fucked. Why don't you why don't you call her right now and tell her we're not going to go to the band and we're gonna go where we left off when we were kissing back in my place. Because he's he's gonna fuck up and fail. Call her. You, you okay, do you think the move is you think the move is to be you need to move to be very direct and bring oh, it right 100%. back. Oh, one hundred percent. My thought, my, my thing is a duet. Okay, my thought is, so was I supposed to keep? Was, mas- mas- masculinity is direct. Masculinity time, is directing. Masculine, yeah, yeah. That's masculinity, bro. We're 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 going to tell you what it is. That's yes, masculinity. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so you you guys think that she's already. She's already made up her mind, right? She knows that, that she wants to fuck you right now. She's already made up her now. mind on me. You go to that Okay, so she's either made up her mind. She knows. She knows that she wants to fuck right now, dog. You go to that band, you're going to be in a friend zone. You yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm with, yep. you, I'm with you, Steve. If you go on another date, it, 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 and be honest with you, if, if you give her too many phone calls this week, I, hey, you, you, you're going to be in a friend zone, dog. You're going to be her buddy. So look, what you need to do, and look, this is what you need to do. I need you to text her this, okay? Then I need you to call her back to the show tonight, okay? When she texts you back, all right? Right now, Phil. Fuck that. You got to hey, hey, you- call that bitch right now and tell her what the deal is. Don't like a she- man would. Guys, she's sleeping. This is East Coast over here. It's like 11, 15. And you got to get her answer machine. Oh, hey, man, you know. You know sleeping. She has a visitor right now. Hey, you know, good dick, good dick has no time. <laughs> good dick has no time. I, I'm... Hey, but my, they gonna they gonna stumble on the phone. Hello, 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 hello. Did, did she moan? Did she moan at all when you kissed her? Oh my god! No. Did you did you grab the ass? Did did, did, did hold on hold on let me, let me no. I gotta, hold on hold on hold on lose hold on hold on Jay Roman Jay Roman Jay Roman, Jay Roman this is very important this is very important caller did you cup the ass when you kissed her yes or no no. <laughs> Hey dog, and her body no, weight. She there's no body weight when you was kissing her. You, there's you was kissing her. I'm gonna tell you. Tight. I'm gonna tell you. There's no such thing as kissing without a handful of ass. You gotta grab a cup. You of gotta ass. cup ass. Even if they don't have ass, a woman wants her ass grabbed. What did and, you grab her? Hit, you were like in the fifties. You would have killed two birds with one stone. Number one, you would have felt it up to see if it's to your liking. But also, if she would have moved your hands or told you to unhand her, you would have known that she ain't trying to fuck you. Because a woman who is sexually attracted to you doesn't mind you touching her. 
Do you know some women get up at eleven thirty to for some dick? Do you understand that, Carl? You you understand, man. Y'all think y'all think these women say, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. No, I'm tired of you. That 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 doesn't mean she's tired. She wants to talk to that guy because you know, hey, around this time is when they pull out that Willie Mammoth. They start playing with the pussy around this time now. Hey man, do you trust this game? Do you trust who, who you're talking to right now? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the game to call her. Right, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to tell her. I, and I and I love when they're half sleep. I love when they're half sleep. When she, when you call her. When, don't even say hi. You say, get up. <laughs> Just like that. And, and, and pause, right? And she's going to say, hello? Yeah, get up, right? You say it a second time. You up, right? And then you say, you up, right? When I call, you pick up. I'm glad you did that. This is the next direction. The next direction is, is that I was thinking I should have took you down on the first day. My apologies. You know what is next? You come over. You're going to come over this weekend or whatever y'all when you need her to come over. And you say, look here, come over. I want you to wear red and I want you to be ready for me soon as you see me. When you get to this door, I don't want you to say a word. I'll do the rest. <sighs> hey, man, that's Mac fucking game, dog. I'm do telling you, you, I'm telling you right now, that is Mac game right there, man. Okay. I hate to. You know what? All right. Really, well, I, you're afraid. Just say I'm afraid. I'm not ready for that, Coach. Just say that. Just say I'm not ready. Just say I'm. I'm afraid. I mean, I'm, I'm still. I'm still on the fact that it's eleven. It's eleven thirty at night. I don't care. Let me. Let me tell you something. I'll call a bitch at two a.m. <laughs> what the? I fuck? will call a bitch at two. You know why? You know why I will call a bitch at two a.m. You know why? Because I'm so confident that I'm the guy. That she's going to be like, God, this motherfucker, he is taking over my life. He is calling me at 2 a.m. Do y'all know women want to talk to you so bad they will wake the fuck up? Go, <laughs> She's like, yeah, you know what? No. Oh, hey, hey, You don't want to talk doing? to him oh, that bad, though. No, him would be like, no, it's 11.40. I'm trying hey, caller, to sleep. I got your back. This is, this, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, man. I got your back, okay? Well, well, what you're going to tell the silverback coach here is say, hey, that's an advanced level, and I'm not there yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at this point. No, I agree with after, that. Yeah. At, at this point, after my light kisses, you know, the four of them, because I don't know why there was four of them, you know, <laughs> after, after, the, after this light kiss, what can I do at this moment? And at my level to get to your level. Yeah, but but if you're wrong, you're right. But what's odd is is when you're kissing somebody, usually they want to take it like, okay, well, let's go in the car because I don't want to be around anybody. From the car, they're like, can we go to a private area? From the private area, they can be like, well, you know, let's just go back to your place. So you call it, you know, and listen, we, we love, we, we good at sex, all four of us. We, we got game here. Dog, your kissing game is terrible. Your kissing game is bad. And that means that the way you kiss, so that tell her that if I let him get at me, he ain't going to know what to do with this pussy. He ain't going to know what to do with me. So That's she tough. let you kiss her four times, four times and didn't say to you, well, why don't we go to the woods or let's go to I mean, let's go to a spot a little bit away from everybody. This nigga the woods and shit like the Blair Witch Project or some shit. Well, I'm just saying, not, I mean, a park, a park. Hey, you know, hey, caller, hey, caller, we're going to let you go, man, because we got to continue the show. But, hey, are you on the membership, caller? Uh, no. All right, I'm just letting you know, man, the membership on the membership this week. I is approaching woman, I, I, I is approach I was, a woman I was anywhere. Boy. I, I was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you know, okay, man. So I, I, you, you need to you need to do something because ultimately, or get coaching, man. Just get coaching, brother. We can help you out, dog. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, I can tell who you are right now, but nice guys finish last, and you're a nice guy, dog. That that right there is not going to get you where you need to be in life. She's not going to respect you like you want her to respect you because you got to dominate the woman. You're not dominating her, and 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 it's and it's showing, right? So at this point. At this point, she's done, right? I'm done with her. No, I'm no, 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 that, no, 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 hell no, 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 no. You're not done with her, but you're just not. You, you don't know. That? You don't know how to. You don't know where the, the next steps are because you're letting her lead. Everything is oh, if she wants to, or if she's ready, or 
Like, dog, what do you want? Are you ready? You know what I mean? You have to speak up and project yourself like a man. You got to posture yourself. You know what I mean? You know, you you, you ever, you well, that's ever seen... I just, your, that's why I just wanted to go out. Yeah, you, you, you know what they say? That's why I just wanted you know, to go out. They say when they see a, 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 a mountain lion, a mountain lion coming towards you, you need to start yelling and get hella big to make it seem like you're hella big. That's what you need to do with her right now, dog, because you're not, you're not ready, dog. You're not ready. But, hey, man, but we, I'm going to throw you back in, caller. I say... I say go on your go on your date. Uh, it's time during, to go back. During, during this date, I mean, you got to start expressing what you really no. want to express to her. Nah, no fuck her. Woman, no shyness. He, Jay Roman, he need to bring her to the house, dog. He he needs to bring her to the house. That's it. He's not. He's he, not the balls right to say the bar, he ain't got the balls to say go back to my house, but at least he can say after we go to the bar, then we're gonna go back to my place. At yeah. least he can say that. He ain't got the, he ain't got the balls to. To tell her that she he ain't built like that, dog. He ain't built. But get some coaching caller. I, I appreciate you calling in, all right? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, man. Right, man. Fuck. See, uh, Fuck. I, I, I'm new to this game, and I'm going to tell you guys that I don't they, – they, not, I'm not new to the game, but I'm new to on the YouTube and things like that. Y'all been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. And the advice y'all give is on the advance – level these dudes ain't even up to the advanced level to get the advice like that would have been advice if he said he kissed her down you know she moaned during the kiss and stuff and then he just let her go then we all know like oh okay she was ready right but nah he's like oh i kissed her four times we walked back and then you know suggested the date and you know it's like yo you you could tell her all this you could tell him all this stuff but if he didn't lay the foundation right he's gonna have to reset that foundation go back on that date and that next date, you should really be showing her you. Like, nah, man, he, he, he did show her. He did show her you. Like, yeah, his foundation yeah, was I'm talking about he you with this advice. It's trash. Yeah, he, he, yeah, this is why you gotta learn the game, man. Y'all gonna be like this sucker down here trying to explain himself to a bunch of women and shit. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. All right, yeah, and yeah. now is she your type? Oh, well, she was. And, uh, <laughs> she was. You know I'm saying, you asked me, like, no, a grammatical question. Like, no, she was. And okay. she definitely would have been. And, like, but it was just all, you know, all fairness. I was just playing cool. Like, okay. that's, that's all. <laughs> no, if I disrespect you, I do apologize. But, oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Plus one four seven zero eight nine six eight two three zero. 968230 MR90. Yeah, man. Hey, this 50. Who this? Hello? Where is the receipt? Just a say, You said what? Who is this? I said, where is the receipt? Who is this? Where is the receipt? Oh, my God. This is a... This motherfucker. Man, please. I, I'm going to tell you. Hold on. What's weird to me... That dude got a bitch to call in, but he can't get the bitch to go over his place and suck his dick. Hey, 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 Tamara. That I'm going to say, weird. hey, Tamara. I'm going to say it. Please don't fuck with me. Don't call my platform. Fuck with me, Tamara. I got your name here. I don't want to bust you out. All right. Don't call Tamara. Yeah. Don't call. All right. All right, all right Tamara. Bro, you need right. to get side. Is your name Tamara? Plus one seven zero eight seven nine six seven four seven four. Mister nineteen fifty. Check mark. Let's move back over here. Hey, this. Hey, this is Mac Game Money. It's fifty. Who this? This Brandon. I had a, I had a question to ask Steve. Steve. All right. Uh, go. Yep. I start. Brandon, how old are you, Brandon? Really quick. Shows. Really quick. How old are you, Brandon? I'm eight. I'm 18. Yeah, 18. All right. Go ahead. He barely made the cut. Yeah. Barely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I started watching Shogun. And what is your message out of that? Is it like power? Is what it is what? honor, integrity, and you see they don't show any emotion. Those are the things. And they live by a code. And everyone in there, when you enter a man's house, you have to move a certain way. Oh, hey, there's so many layers to this thing, man. But the most important one is the honor and the integrity. And everybody, and, and just because you're a woman or a guy, you don't get an audience with the emperor. You don't get an audience with the top motherfuckers. Meaning that every bitch should not get to be in your section or your area to give your dick away to them. 
And number two, you all, you notice, do they ever show emotion? Do they show fear? Do they show y'all fucking rejection and anxiety and all this shit y'all say? No, they don't show. They take their heart and put it in their pocket and they stand on shit. That's what you should be noticing, young man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a good ass show, dog. The, right, call it, the, the gotta, issue, the right, issue is, this, is, is you called and you asked Steve basically what you should be getting from it. And, and, the, and the real thing of it is you're supposed to deduce for yourself what you're getting from it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank we'll you. Call, we'll call him. I'm going to throw you back in. I appreciate you calling in. All right, brother? Sir, thank you, young man. Thank you. I call. appreciate you. Good thank call. Good call, you. brother. Good, good call. Good call. Great call. Uh, fifth, before yep. you play the joint, okay, let me say this real quick. Guys, ladies, I'm going to need y'all to go out in a lobby, go get yourself a mimosa, a Cape Cod, a Cape Pop, whatever it is you're going to do. Let me say this, and, and I'm so sincere when I say this. If you're conversating with a woman or a group of women and you say something and you meant to say it and that woman or women get offended you never apologize never never Never. fucking apologize for something that you meant to say you stand on that shit oh my goodness yeah yeah you you right 100 that's everyone that's everyone all right so unfortunately that is all the balloons popped that is unfortunate that is cool (laughs) we were not able to find you a match day but hopefully next time thank you so much for coming on thank you all right thank Thank you you. have the mic let's give it up for him ladies (laughs) and you know what let me you, you you know what i got a problem with his whole exit like his whole exit, bro. Like, let me just say this, dog. You don't have look. You don't have to over. You don't have to pander to women. You can walk away mad because I just say, look here. Every single one of them missed out on the greatest opportunity of their life. Now, I appreciate the invite to the show to the host. Have a good rest of your days. And I'm out. Look how he exit. Thanks for coming oh, on. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Plus one two eight nine seven nine nine three zero seven. Give it up, ladies. Weak exit. Hey, this 50. Who this? Mac Game Mondays. Who's this? Hi, this is Dawson, 25, from Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. All right, Dawson. Yeah. What was your question, brother? How can we help you? How old are you? How old are you, by the way? How old are you? Have you ever? Oh, 20, 25. Okay, my bad. However, however, what, what, what was your question? Have you ever texted too many women at the same time before and you just got like confused? So are you asking us because of who we are? Because this doesn't sound like a question that you're having, you're having problems with. What is your, what is your question for you? Like, have you ever texted too many women before and then you got confused saying who's saying what? Yeah, and no, then no, no, you, you a, end up, no, uh, no. Yeah, not at all. Oh, okay. How would you confuse if the woman texts you back, her name pops up under the text? How do you get confused? Like you have to talk to a lot of girls. That, um, but it's like sales. You got to talk to a lot so yeah, you can get some back. Call- and then you're texting. Wait, wait, caller Jay Roman is telling me we got we to gotta put this color shapes and numbers in kindergarten. <laughs> I'm asking you a simple question. When you receive a yeah. text message back from a woman, if you ever received one, what is going to happen is it is going to show her name underneath the text message. So how can you be confused on what you say? Because then it will show all the conversations you have with the person. So how can there be confusion? Okay. Uh, and then you t- I text five at the same time, and then I realize like. So 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 you said you text five at the same time, caller. Yeah. How did you meet these women? Oh my god. Um, some of them through school, and some of them through like social circle. Okay, so when you met them in school, how did you meet them? Did you approach them? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a scenario really quick. Okay. 
and you and I want you to talk me through the scenario on on how to talk to the women that you've met. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're in a quad at the school. You're in a quad at the school. There's two young ladies. One you one you're attracted to. One she's a she's a nice looking woman. You see her. She's over there looking good and shit. She's over there reading books, but she's with her friend laughing and joking. You're going to walk up to her and you're going to talk to okay. her. Go. I talk to her friend. I say, um, hi, I'm Dawson. I just seen you in uh, math class and um, I'm the kind of guy who wants to uh, just uh, get to know you after school. But especially your friend here. Okay. So, so I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to do what you did. Okay. And I want you to tell me how it sound to you. Okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, um, yeah. Um, my name is, uh, my name is Dawson and I seen you math class. I think it was math class. And, uh, uh, I, I want to get to know your friend and I want to get to know you. And, um, I, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to talk to you a little bit. You know, how does that sound to you, caller? Uh, it sounded too passive. Well, not just sounded passive. It sounded fucking bad. It's bottom of the barrel Mac game, okay? So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to show you how fifth roll again. This is Mac game Mondays. We're trying to help you with the approach, okay? So when we roll up, yep. when we roll up, you immediately take control of the conversation. You immediately can take control. You immediately roll up, say, ladies, 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 this, you, hey, look here, I'm here. I'm here, and I'm here to introduce myself because I think one of you, depending on how you act, I'm going to change your life. What's your name? She'll tell me her name. What's your name? Oh, Su you know what, Susan? You're the winner. And you know what You the, what you won today? I'm the prize. Let, let me tell you, put my number in the phone. Let me tell you how you're going to collect a prize later. Right, so put my number in the phone. Mm. Give me a call. We're gonna make magic. She gonna she's gonna be over there. Goo 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 goo. I'm a magical guy, so me and you can make magic later on. Right. Good to meet you, young lady over here. And I'm gonna get the fuck out of there. You see how you see how smooth, dominant, and cool that was. Yeah. You see that one. You are yeah. In a scale of one to ten, you are minus. Okay, so what I need for you to do, mm. and, and I, and the only reason I'm calling, I mean, the only reason I'm talking to you, because when you say you're having trouble with women and and, and and texting them, and that's the least of your troubles. That is the least of your troubles. We need to start with manhood. We need to start with your identity, who you are, your standards, your principles. Right? You don't have a vision on life. Yeah. The way you speak, I can only imagine your swag. I, I just. Matter of fact, what type of shoes are you wearing right now? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I'm wearing New Balance black. Okay, there's nothing wrong with New Balance. Okay, I like New Balance, all right? New Balance is cool, but they may be the grandfather ones. We don't know. So what I'm going to say to you is, is that you need to get some type of coaching, man. Right now, right. I know you think you got it, but you don't have it, man. You don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, <laughs> I'm say this. Dawson, okay, I, I want to show you, and this is very important, and a lot of men fail to realize this, but Dawson, I want to ask you a question. You get that woman, yep. y'all exchange information, she calls you, she says, hi, I'm the one that you met from this wherever you're at. What are you saying next, Dawson? I'm going to uh, say, um, uh, Okay, relax. Would you like okay. to get together? Uh, okay, Dawson, you just need to answer. Yeah. And Dawson, this is why you guys have your problems with women because you should already know what to say because you know yourself so well that you can lead her. So the problem isn't you walking up to the woman. The problem is, is that if I get the woman, I'm not going to know what to say. So instead of saying anything at all, I'm just going to just look at them. That's why Fifth was saying you got to learn game, but you got it, uh, you got it, guys. So go ahead, go ahead. I got a question for you. Why, why were you texting five women at the same time? Yeah. 
And what were you texting them? Um, okay, yeah. The so first, uh, first one is like if I talk to one, then it just um, it it probably does slow. Like it doesn't really go anywhere. And then call her, call her, call her, if call I talk listen, to like more, then I, I call her, call her, call her. listen to the okay, question. So. Why were you texting all those women yeah. at the same time? And what were you texting them? Two part question. Okay, so I was texting them at the same time because if I bring up the numbers, then I get more better chance to date one. What did you text these? Uh, and then the. Uh, uh, that was a long time ago. What did you text them? I know I, I was having that. Yeah, um, I was so yeah, I was I'm flirting. Gonna, um, I'm gonna say this no, you for weren't. you, caller. No, you weren't. I'm gonna say this for you, caller. Um, yeah, I've 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 gotten it confused with some numbers, and I text one lady something different than another lady, and all that. But this this is when it was a flip phone. Uh, in mm-hmm. fact, I didn't really care about phones and stuff. My boys was the ones who took me and told me, hey, get a smartphone, bro. Because mm-hmm. I was flipping and trying to text. I was still pushing three, three, <laughs> the button three times to get one letter and going on to the next. Yes. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've yeah. texted a whole so, bunch of different people, some different stuff and stuff. But it's, it's, it's lazy. We call it lazy pimping, right? Because you're going to be direct with what you want, direct with... And what you're trying to do is basically throw something up against the wall and see what pans out. So you text five of them something, you know, you text all five of them the same little line that you think is cool, you know, and then see which one is going to going to bite on that hook is basically what you're doing. Right. And then you're going from there instead Mm -hmm. of having a direct plan for each one that you have met. Right. So. And you don't think it sounds corny, yeah. but ladies understand that if, if they can, they could tell a message was just sent out compared to, oh, okay, he's giving me directions for me, right? So you can't be lazy. One of one of the qualities of, of real men is they're not lazy, and they're not lazy when it comes to anything they do. They don't waste time, and they know exactly what they want. So you're gonna du- you're gonna direct the way you text mm. to individuals what you want from them. Because truthfully, you didn't want the same thing from all of them, because they're all well, different, let, right? Mm-hmm. Well, shit, he, he he should treat them all different. They, yeah. they, they they women he don't know. He should treat them all the same and, until they yeah, show him so, otherwise. So, like one you met in school, you might know her a little differently than you one you met at the at the the shop. So the conversation is going to be a little yeah. more different, and I'm not talking about you're not going to hum and beg in any of the conversations. But you can mention different things by the way you met them. Not treating them any different as far as what you want, but the way you talk to them, you can meet different, you can say different things to them because you know you've, you've met them somewhere else, right? So my thing is you're yeah. going to be more direct with who you're with and, and stop trying to do the mass shooting because basically what you're just trying to do is throw stuff against the wall and then see what pans out for you. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me say this to the caller. So these women that you encountered, you got their contact information. Were you sexually mm-hmm. interested in these women? Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Now, I want you to think about the question I'm about to ask you before you answer it. Did you convey okay. that desire within the conversation? Now, before you answer you don't have to use the word fuck. You don't have to use the word sex. You don't have to say any of those words to convey the fact that one, you are a sexual being Two, that the main reason why you are speaking to those women is because you desire to deal with them in that fashion. Do you believe that you conveyed that within your conversation? Yeah. How so? Um, so my, I was like talking a bit about myself and then a bit about her. And then she was like saying that she, she wanted to uh, meet me at the casino and kiss me in the closet <laughs> or like, or, um, she was like, I'm attracted to you and I want to, I want to see you. 
I don't I don't believe a woman told you that. I don't believe a woman because Carla, let, let me let me let me tell you why I don't believe a woman told you that. Because if a woman told you that, it would make no sense for you to text all these women at the same time saying the same thing when that particular woman, you could have just been like, oh, okay, you want to kiss me? I'm going to kiss you in the closet. That don't even make no damn sense. But <clears throat> let, let's go with that lie you just told me. If she actually says something about yeah. wanting to see you, why not just set something up? Why not just give her a time and day and a location to make that happen? Right there on the spot. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah, that's where I, um, I left off because I would get that kind of uh, attraction. And then I, at that time, I would just got um, so nervous. I just couldn't get the okay. get the date okay. down or okay. I didn't want to sound okay. like I was too technical. Okay, caller. Okay, here here's the problem, okay? You are a guy, heterosexual, I'm assuming. You want to have sex with attractive women. What you're really struggling at is being able to get women to view you in that way where they actually want to have sex with you. Earlier, you said you were flirting. I don't think you have a clue as to what it means to flirt with a woman. But go ahead, y'all got it. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and let you go, Caller. I appreciate you calling in, all right? Okay, hey, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, man, we, we're not going to be... Yeah, man. <laughs> Tell you, man, the 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 levels, the the, the levels. Yeah, man, he's, it was pretty bad. Let's get through this, though. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Right on over here. Uh, I would come in. out and start name? popping everybody's balloon. Evan, how old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, and what do you do? So I'm a pro basketball player, and uh, oh shoot. I'm a pro basketball player, and I work in insurance and day trade. Okay, nice. And Evan, what do you look for in a woman? It's honesty, honesty, accountability. Okay, can you can you can you pause it? Can you pause it? Okay. My bad. There he goes. He says I'm a pro basketball player. Then he said I work in insurance. So what he's really saying is my main job is an insurance adjuster. And I have designs and plans to want to play pro. Because if you were really playing pro basketball, not NBA, but like G League, you would be making enough money where you wouldn't have to do no fucking insurance adjusting. But go yeah, ahead. He's, definitely, he's definitely insurance adjuster. How old are you? 25. 25, okay, and what do you do? So I'm a pro basketball player. And, uh, I'm a pro basketball player and I work in insurance and day trade. Okay, nice. And Evan, what do you look for in a woman? It's honesty, honesty. accountability, uh, someone to build a family with. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, we did get a couple of popped balloons. Let's go ahead and that, go over those. Did he pop it twice? <laughs> Shit. Fuck. That, that, that accountability right, we'll shit. Right over here, if we can have. We check him out, man. See, you can't wear the polo shoes. Oh, with you the, with can't. the pants that hang over like that, man. You got to ride the top. Man. Let me just tell you, dog. I'm going to tell you. Ralph Lauren does a lot of good things. I, I'm a polo nigga, man. But you can't wear the polo shoes, though. Polo shoes polo are... are hell, bro. And they busted oh, and they're fucking oh, Ross. Yeah, they're Ross. And look, they just kind of look a little dingy. Don't they look a little dingy? Yeah, they're not the, they're not the cleaners. They're supposed to be white, dog. They're supposed to be white. Your name and how old you are? I'm Sierra. I'm 27. Okay. And Sierra, why did you end up popping your balloon? For age. I need a man to be the same age or older. Okay. Okay. All right. And now is um, Sierra your type? Just a, little, a little short. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a little short, but. That's fair. That's fair. Come on, <laughs> doofus. <laughs> Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Let's go right on over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, man. I gotta. I gotta get at somebody in the fucking chat, man. Hold on. Polo cool. shoes, classic. Nah, bro. You cannot wear polo shoes, bro. Don't fucking wear polo shoes. Throw them away. New chin, twenty-five. Okay. 
And Nucci, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very handsome. Um, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with your outfit. It's just not giving no, for me no, personally. No, it is. What what you it is. Can you pause it? Can you pause it? Mm -hmm. I, and, and I was hoping that one of the women was going to point it out. Yeah. There is something wrong with his outfit. It looked like he didn't try. He didn't try. It looked like he just literally woke up, went to the closet, grabbed some shit, threw it on and left the just, house. Just, just rolled out. Just rolled out. Fuck no, it. No thought. Yeah. No effort. But go ahead, fam. <laughs> look very put together. You look very nice. I love your hair. Bone structure. Go crazy. <clears throat> All that. Appreciate that. I'd have told her right there. She said right. bone structure go crazy. We, me and you can make a lot of babies. Mm -hmm. I'd have told her. You know I mean, I'm telling we fucking. And now is Nucci your type? I could definitely see us going on a date, but you, know, you said no. So I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Sure. My name is Quay. I'm 31. Okay. And Quay, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was just the age. So I'm a little older and you seem like. Wait, wait, know, Fifth, real quick, real quick, Fifth. So you should be doing. I just want to point out I thought all the women wanted six foot tall Negroes. <clears throat> I'm about to say that I they thought that's what they wanted. Yeah, they don't. Uh, all you guys that worry about height, yeah. this goes and mm -hmm. show you your height mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It don't matter. Don't matter. Twenty five years should be done. That's it. Makes sense. Okay, and I was clear your type. Uh, for the most part, subtractive. A couple of piercings here. Uh, what uh, 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 thank you. Okay, so it's just the piercings for you. Yeah. Okay. The host is the instigator. She's a she's a master instigator, man. Well, he's dry, you know what I'm saying? Like no energy. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. The host yeah. gotta make the show a little interesting. Yeah. Just said, why'd you end up popping your balloon? It was the age, the age, and I'm not big on like guys with hair. That's all. I told y'all, y'all ain't trying to get your groove back, huh? All right. Do you get that often, like about the hair thing? No, actually, I, I used to have free forms, so. And what are free forms, if you can just explain? Uh, just dreads that grow naturally. Oh, okay. So it up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. And now, is Josette your type? Uh, honestly, no. But Wait, what is this? Uh, hold the mic, what? fucking up your mouth, dude. This is a. This he's is a, why he's, he's a doofus, though. He's a big doof, right? A big. He's a big oh, dope. He's, he's a. He's gonna make that. You're a big dope. Uh, well, uh, he thought uh, his I, I, professional I was, uh, basketball. Remember Dobber from Coach? You know what I mean? <laughs> he thought his professional Dumb basketball fuck. was going to get him because he said it twice. You know, and when he thought he couldn't be heard, he made sure he had to say that again. Yeah, professional, professional, professional basketball player. Hooper. I'll finger roll on him. Why is she not your type? Um, it just doesn't feel like the vibe. Again, I feel like, the, what the fuck? Okay. And what's the vibe you're getting? Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's attraction. Fifty five folk from uh fucking say that next. Okay, thank you. He can't even articulate himself. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Shannon Marie and I'm twenty nine. Okay. And Shannon, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the age. Yeah, that's all. You know what guys, real quick, Fifth, and I wanna let all you motherfuckers know this. When you are that motherfucker, they don't give a fuck how old you are. They will they will fuck you on the back end and nobody needs to know about it. So all this front end age shit, don't fucking worry about that, guys. Don't do that. I'm sorry, you good, man. And have you ever dated someone older than you before? It seems like they're all popping for age. Yeah, I have actually. I uh I spend a lot of my time around people older than me. Probably like <laughs> it's weird, man. He's a he's a square. So you dated a thirty-five year old. Let me, let me, uh, just let me, let me add this to kind of piggyback off what Steve said. If they were sexually attracted to this guy, they would not be picking apart all this shit. When women are not attracted to you, the things that that uh they don't like about you stand out even more, right? Because when women are sexually attracted to you, there might be things that they really ain't feeling, but they, they don't focus and fixate on those things because the attraction can overcome that. So they're, they're picking all this shit out because they just ain't feeling him sexually. That's all it is. Oldest age I've dated, probably 33. Okay, okay. All right, and now is Shannon Marie your type? Uh, no. And why not? Uh, physical attraction. 
Okay. Okay. Is there anything in specific? Uh, look, oh, shit. look. On, you see, she, she is the game. That's what I'm telling you. She is the game. Anything in specific? Yeah, her head, her eyes, her, you know. Okay. okay she, wants, she wants some shit on him. Fifth, the thing like Roman's saying is that he can't, he's not articulating himself. He's just giving like one or two word answers. So she's got to keep it going. She's got to, she's trying to pull shit out that dumb motherfucker, basically. Because he can't do it. Yeah, man. Again, it's just personal preference. Okay, and what type of body type do you typically go for? Uh, so more so. <laughs> she fuck, man. What do you like? Say you like them thick. Thank you. See, can you can you pause it? Can you pause it? Can you pause it? See what he, what he could have did and what he should have did. Any of the women that are there that have body types that turn him on sexually. He should have been like, well, shit. Well, since you're asking, her, her, yeah. oh, and her over there, they can all get it. I let me ask you. Yeah, every one of them bitches right there. I would have said that. Any, mini, mighty, mo. You know what I mean? Any, mini, mighty, mo, bitch. Don't get back with me on the back end. Let's get mm -hmm. it. We can have your name and how old you are. My name is Jessica and I'm 31. And Jessica, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, two things. Ah, you 25. Uh, so that was the age. And you got your taco meat out. <laughs> I, I thought player, so. But, the uh, shirt was low. I knew the shirt was uh, low. Outside of that, though, I do think you are. <laughs> See, when you said you got your taco meat out, he should have been like, oh, my bad. Would you prefer that I have some other type of meat out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might as well. <laughs> I think his eyes a filthy yeah, nigga, yeah. man. Extremely handsome. We pulled his <laughs> dick out. <laughs> but mainly the age and a little bit of the taco meat. <laughs> uh, when you say taco meat, is it like... What, what it's do a you... ball chest right here. I don't, I don't know what you're looking at. Well, right in that, <laughs> that center of the They right all right. laughing because it's a sexual it's innuendo. They thinking that shit. They thinking right the same there. shit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, is Jessica someone you would approach? Uh, personally, no. Okay. And why not? I just want to see what you look out without makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. So well. Are you, well. So are you trying to say that she's wearing too much makeup, or what? Part just is, say it. I just can't tell what you look yeah. under there. That much. Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 Oh, he was honest. Shout out to my esthetician because my skin is beautiful. Mm. But mm -hmm. I'm but you're not, you're Dad not. knew. What's going on right over here? If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Kayla. I'm 31. And Kayla, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just popped because of the age. I felt maybe you're a little too young for me. You get that. You just yeah. keep getting that. Yeah. The age is taking yeah. you out. And now is Kayla your type? Uh, personally, I could see us possibly going on a date. I don't know about a few, but we could definitely hit one and see. No, how see can you pause it again? Can you pause it again? See, th this is where your dominance, assertiveness, and just overall dom domineering personality and sexual confidence comes in. He yeah. keeps saying, I can see us going out on a date. What he should be saying is, I know y'all talking about my age. I know y'all a little bit older, but straight up, I can see me being her next lover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm hella aggressive, so I, I definitely would have been. We would, me and somebody on this panel would have been talking about fucking. We, it would have been. That's what I'm saying. It would have been up. Yeah, one of these bitches is gonna be mine before the end of the night. You agree? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you for that. Let's go right over here. We can have your name and how old you are. I'm Taylor and I'm 28. And Taylor, why'd you end up popping? Um, it was actually your profession. You said you're a professional basketball player. I assume that I'm not your type. He, he's yeah. not a professional basketball player. Yeah. I hear you though. Yeah, but I really do like your raw eye. I think that's Appreciate dope. That. And I feel like we would have a solid conversation. We'll probably have some deep combos. Very deep. What do you mean deep? What is these niggas talking about? <laughs> hey, these niggas talking all the deep convo. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about talking to you like that. What are these niggas talking about? What, what, what are they talking about? Sapiosexual? Uh, attracted to somebody's intelligence and shit? Man, fuck that. Fuck In that the fuck industry, out of here. I just have an understanding. 
but maybe yeah, it might be a stretch. I get it. Yeah, I definitely get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I okay. fall outside of that category. <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so is Taylor someone that's your type? Hold on, I, I want to listen. She said somebody understanding. Yes, but when it comes Basically, down to they could be good friends. In that no, industry, hold on. I just have an understanding, but maybe yeah, oh, okay. it might be a stretch. I get it. You know, I think I think Personally, that uh, no, a lot of these women would be are worried about being judged by the other women. If she's the last one holding the balloon, she's saying, "Well, damn, they're gonna think I'm a." Oh, I need, I need a, I need a, I need a bitch hold the balloon. Back over yeah, yeah. I need her to be by herself, hold the balloon. That's what I thought the first one was gonna do. Like, yo. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and how old Uh-oh. you are. My name is Fiana, and I'm 34. Okay. And Fiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I mean, of course, I'm a lot older, and then it is the career. I just feel like um, when it comes to the athletic field, typically it's a lot of girl attraction, and I just don't think it's something that I want to deal with anymore. Man, you had to deal with that anymore. Yeah, understand. Yeah, anymore. The, hey, yeah. ladies, y'all. Hey, yeah. but hey, bottom line, and I want y'all need to understand that y'all want to get the and game. Now, is there any truth to what she's saying? Like, is that part of your lifestyle? Like, I get a lot of attention. Three women. Okay. All right. Let's get him out of here. He, he's all he's the all the balloons pop, pop nigga. Three women, dog. I don't know why. Okay, why our next think. single guy, come on out. And we're gonna do this guy. We're gonna do this guy before we get him out of here. Oh. All right. Right on over here. How do you hold this? Okay. And if we can have your name. My name is Jeremy. And and look, at that, look at that bitch right there. She, that bitch right there holding it, though. You see the balloon down there? That's the type of bitch, that's the type of bitch that I need right there. Bitch, the one who's solid for a nigga, man. Yeah, I have to ask you. Do I got to talk to these others? I just want to talk to the one with the balloon. All right, let's check him out, man. Okay. It was, it was clean. I wouldn't wear them, but you know. Man, is, is them shits bedazzled? Does that have all bedazzled shoes? <laughs> it may be bedazzled, but I think those are the limited edition Adidas. Limited edition Adidas. This motherfuckers cost about six bands. I don't care if they cost six Okay, dollars. what do you do? Yeah, I don't <laughs> care I about what they cost. Oh. So I just got hired for Dora Legal Services. Congratulations. Uh, check me out. <laughs> all really right. Good. And Jeremy, what do you look for in a woman? Man, I want somebody who can hold it down. Conversation. Hold on. I, I think the nigga's coming with energy, though. The nigga's sounding like he's coming with some energy. Hold on. I love conversations. You know what I'm saying? She know I throw it on because I go out every now and then. Hey, you can tell the nigga talks to bitches. You can tell that the nigga talks to bitches. Just how he's talking right now. You can tell. Hold on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I like honesty too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lying to me and shit. <laughs> Feel me? If you on that, you know what I'm saying? If you, Man, you, you know what I'm saying? Love, so you got secrets and shit. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Let me. I I I think I can't he talks to. I I know. I, I I get you, Steve, but I think this nigga talks to bitches though. You can kind of tell. Hold on. And, 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 I'm, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm. Real quick. He's, he's confident, he, dog. He, he's cursing. He's not trying to Mm-mm. walk on eggshells with his words. He's kind of talking but, how he might really talk in real life. Like, I think women kind of pick up on that type of thing. Like he get bottom of the barrel bitches, though. I mean, it, it, I, 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 mean I don't you know, know. If, if that's your area, though, if you get bottom of barrel bitches, just hey, hey, get the bottom yeah. of the barrel bitches. But I don't know. I think Steve, but I think he has a lot of confidence. I'm feeling the, I, I think the man got some fucking confidence. See, because the other dudes came up. He was trying to pander to these bitches. This nigga don't seem like he, he got half the shit popped. This nigga looked like it didn't rattle him at all. You know, it, it didn't rattle him, dog. Hold on. We did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go over to these ladies and see what's going on, all right? All right, see what's happening. Okay, let's start here. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Fiana, and I'm 34. And Fiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I really like your smile, but I just felt the young vibes um, immediately, and then I'm not sure if I like the hat and the shoes. Uh, okay. See, she, she'd be after picking. <laughs> Just a sense of style. So, yeah, that's okay. it. All right. And now, is Fiona your type? Um, Fiona, what you looking for in a guy? I'm looking for a maturity. I'm looking for a leader. Okay. Um, and a breadwinner. What's a leader? Uh, someone that can teach me something new, because I feel like lately I've always teaching a man something, so I want someone to guide me and teach me something. Okay. So what if he could teach you something, but he a leader, he on the up and up? You know what I'm saying? You gonna hold it down or you just gonna be like, oh, since you ain't got the bread, you dismiss. 
Well, it's not necessarily that, but it's also the age difference too. So I don't know if you have a maturity for someone that'll be 35 this year. All right, when you was young, you ever dated somebody older? I have. All right, so what's Ooh. up with the age then? Do you feel you can lead me? I think I can yeah. lead you wherever you're trying to go. This okay. niggas, this. Yeah, I might reconsider my. This body. nigga! <laughs> this nigga, man, hold on! Silverback! <laughs> hey, hold on, nigga. The, the nigga, the niggas, the niggas trying to get in here a little bit. Hold on. Pick, 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 pick your pop balloon up then. He's challenging these bitches. Hold on, bitch. Like the tattoo. Shit, I love butterfly? this. It is a butterfly. How many tattoos you got? Uh, about roughly 20. Okay. They mean something or you just begin tatted? No, they mean something. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. He looking at her soul. If you can look at this nigga, man, he's looking look at, look at directly her. in her fucking eyes. Now, now he can be tightened up because he ain't really saying he ain't sharp. But what I'm saying is, you can tell this nigga's used to talking to bitches. Yeah, you got This nigga is ass. used to talking to bitches, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's the best okay. tattoo you got. I'll tell her. See your um, pop balloon down here? Go on, pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, rest in peace. I feel like Thank I'm you. happy with that diet. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I understand, you know. It hurt. We move on. We wreck. You know? Exactly. I'm moving on. Yeah. Okay. He looking at her soul, dog. Yana? You, you feel the vibe or? Feeling the vibe. Look, 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 look at the shimmy. Look, I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you. Silverback. Appealing to a woman's feminine sensibilities. That's exactly what he did when he said what he said. Yeah, nigga, you see that little shimmy by the little short bitch, nigga. That that bitch was like, oh, that, that nigga over there getting that. See, and then now these other bitches are gonna be like, "Damn, this nigga over there getting it." That's the first bitch. Yeah, and we one by one. One by one, bitch. I'm sniping all you bitches. And that's how I am. <laughs> okay, are we are we getting a balloon back? I think we're getting a balloon back. Oh, oh the nigga done got the balloon back. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. We're gonna be back for you. All right, let's go to our next lady. We can have your name and how old you are. I didn't hear you, Steve. You said what? I would say now pop that bitch because you wasting my time. I'm Sierra. I'm 27 as well. Here we go. <laughs> Sierra, why you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped the balloon for the fit. Because I know we both got on the phone and he said dress to impress uh -huh. and you wearing a hoodie and it's not given for me, unfortunately, but honestly, I'm feeling the inside. Like, I like the voice. Mm -hmm. I like that you are interested in getting uh -huh. to know us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the hey. of the man. Hey, we, we try to tell you, it's not what you got on. It's not what you got in your pocket. Dog, I'm telling you. Even what you look like, though, if you got some Mac to you, and this nigga, and this nigga's on a beginner scale of it, you can tell if he was coached up, this nigga would be a straight animal in here, nigga. Straight, straight animal in here. Hold on. You know, I, I, like your swag, whatever you want to call it. Like I like that. Mm -hmm. It's the fit for me because first impressions are everything, and dress to impress. I'm about that. Like style, it's not given for me. All right, I feel that. So first impression, right? So what else you see on my hoodie? DOF and okay. a crown. All right, so that's also my LLC. Dreamer's okay. only favorite. So, you mm -hmm. know, I had to rep what I rep. I had Dreamer's only favorite ever since high school. So I just got my LLC two years ago. Okay, so, respect. You know, I admire that. I also admire have a that. podcast outside of this. You know? hey, hey, you know what he's saying to the Nick? Do you know what he told this bitch? I'm coming on a national televised motherfucking podcast, my bitch. I'm wearing my shit. I am shit. wearing my shit out here, bitch. So, hey, dress to impress. This is impressive to me, bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, shit. Yeah. Hey, Advertisement. Tattoo, yeah. Fear nothing. Fear nothing? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's what's up. Okay. All right. Let's go on to our next lady then. Mm. <laughs> this nigga sniping them. <laughs> we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Nucci. I'm 25. Sanna. <laughs> and Nucci, Nana. why'd you end up popping Nucci. your balloon? Um, Again, the fit. Um, I like the shoes. I just think that you maybe could have cleaned them up before you came yeah. and maybe styled it a little bit different, but I do really like the shoes. Um, and I do like that you- Look, them niggas dancing it off. Your brand, your shit. Um, yeah. That's dope. 
Um, and I really love that you always smiling. Like you ain't lost a smile yet. I uh, like that. But low key, like when you kind of walked on, it was kind of giving like I don't want to say goofy because like that's that's a terrible word. But it was just like the way you came on. I don't know. Okay. But yeah. And what happened to your finger? Because what is going on? So I also work on cars. So I was glad you noticed that. So I was fixing one of my homie cars. I mm -hmm. got caught in the terminal belt. I almost took it for real. I oh, Lord. I was going to wrap it up, but I'm going to keep it gangster. So. Yeah, keep it gangster. Man, he's out here killing it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something, dog. These, every one of these bitches so far are back into him. It's because of what he's saying, who he is, and he he don't give a fuck. He's not rattled by. Nigga, that bitch basically told you, bitch, he got dirty shoes on. This nigga start dancing. This nigga didn't give a fuck about what she was saying, nigga. And, you, and directed you know right back to you know it. This, Fifth? Yeah. What what do women say? Confidence is a sexy trait in a man. His confidence, mm -hmm. right, is beaming through and, and they feeling that. But go ahead, fam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can, we can get it going. Yeah. I just wanted to know what happened, but that's what's up. You work on cars too, so you got your hands in a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, I, like I do that. a lot. I do a lot. You know what I'm saying? These days you gotta have your hands in a lot of bags. You gotta be diverse. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It ain't back in the day where you could just make a bag off one thing. You gotta make a bag off multiple things. Absolutely, multiple incomes. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. You toxic? No, honestly, um, I'm a behavioral health therapist. So when I started that job, I kind of like started to work on myself, and that was the beginning of my like. Um, self journey so like i've worked on myself a lot i used to be toxic i ain't gonna lie yeah i used to be that girl yeah but i ain't no more you I'm miss your ex that. say it again you miss your ex no oh, okay my ex is my biggest fan oh yeah but he is oh okay yeah oh, he be, oh is it off the body <laughs> it's off the body that's what he doing yeah uh-huh yeah all right so you take pride in the way you look i'm sure absolutely yeah cool. Let's go into our next lady this nigga's so we well on him dog your name and how old you are on shit. <laughs> my name is quay and what's up, Quay? That's all you said. Your age? And oh, my age. I'm 31. You're 31? Um, yeah. So I just popped my balloon. I think everything you're saying sounds great. I like that you give off like a positive energy. Yeah. Um, Look, you see that? You see? Hold on. Uh, I, hold on. We're going to back this up. Just pop my balloon. I think. I want you to watch the girl next to her when she said you give off pop positive energy. Look how quickly she shook her head. Yes. Watch this sounds great i like that you give off like a positive energy yeah. there it is um, which is really good um it just seems like you're a little bit young mm -hmm. you remind me of maybe like a, a younger sibling that i have okay um but i think your head is on straight i think you got some big things that you can you can you can you, can you can you pause it can you pause it I say something uh, too zach yeah 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 when she said you remind me of a younger sibling I would have been like, first and foremost, if you and I ever got together, <laughs> I'm sure we would we would do things that a sibling would never do. <laughs> and I would remind you that I'm anything but a sibling. <laughs> I'm just saying, you nasty motherfucker. I know, I'm just saying that. A lot of these, a lot of these women Appreciate you, Renee. Like Much love to the panel. Women. Appreciate you. I'm telling y'all guys, man, women are nasty as fuck, dog. Don't, 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 don't assume because these women are acting this way, man. They just need that right motherfucker, and I think he is the right motherfucker. And you know what? What I, what I, what I'm impressed with is the way he's dressing because he's not leaning with his wallet. Yeah, you can wear something nice on you, but if he's, if he's fine with what he's wearing, fuck what they think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and let me add this real quick, and I want all the I want all the guys to understand something. Every last one of these women have already made an assessment as to whether or not he's the type of guy they would fuck. They've yes. already made that assessment. Now he don't know what that assessment is, but they've already made it. Believe it or not. Go ahead, go. There you go. Born and raised in Arizona. Oh, okay. Why are you single at thirty one? Um, I think I'm really picky. <laughs> And um, I like what I like, and sometimes men tell me that my expectations are a little too high. So, so that was men that was obviously older than thirty-one or thirty-one, right? That were older than thirty, yeah. That were older than older than me, but also younger guys. I feel like I'm kind of on a different journey. So I know what I was doing at, you know, in my twenties. Family, fun, you know, and do what I'm supposed to do. I'm so waiting for it. Let me hear what you say. Step up you know at 25 and he's setting her up you know in their 20s and kind of be on the same type of stuff i'm on so, so what you expecting out of a man when you're 31 
Um, I expect them to be a provider, a protector, um, to have their communication together because I've noticed a lot of, not even just men, but people in general, they don't know how to communicate, you know. Um, so there's a lot of things that I expect. I expect for him to come with his own because I have my own and for us to be able to come together at one point and, you know, build on what we already have together, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, so you think it's a price on love? You think it's an age on love? <clears throat> I don't think there's an age, but um, I think I have given different age groups, um, and when I say that, like, you know, younger than me, um, and I kind of get the same results, so I always. I mean, a nigga, I'm going to tell you something, dog. The, the, nigga, the young nigga, the young nigga right here, Got a lot of potential, dog. He's throwing okay. questions at them to make them go against their belief. Forcing them to think. He Forcing them. Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he yeah. you know, there's so you do for a living, all this other stuff. He's taking what they're saying, tying it back, and forcing them to go on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, it, and that's why they get thrown off. Because they're like, whoa, I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't expect him to even go this deep with me. Yeah, I mean, this nigga's... Yeah. If, you know... If I'm gonna keep doing the same thing, I'm gonna keep doing the, you know, getting the same results. So I'm you a fan of Nicki Minaj? <laughs> yes, I am. You a fan of Beyonce? Yes. See that? Okay, so Beyonce married somebody way older than her. Nicki Minaj mm. dated Meek Mill when he was young. I'm Quay, and mm -hmm. I can't really <laughs> speak for what anybody else does. What I can say is, with my experiences, the you know the definition of insanity. Hey, he needed to all, he he need, all, all he, all he should have said here. right there is that I'm just giving you examples of some great ones. Yeah, so he could have did that, and another thing he could have said when she was talking about age groups, he could have told her, "Baby girl, it's not the age groups. You just ain't met a man yet, but you that's met all one today. today. But you today, met one today, today, today is the day." and expecting you know different now, results so we're trying to do something different this time around oh, okay for sure yeah. all right thank you okay yes, if we can have your name and how old you are Josette and I'm 29 Seven. and Josette why'd you end up popping your balloon um age really that's it the way you're dressed I feel like first impressions are everything I, I understand you know you trying to promote your brand and all of that but just like Maybe you could have wore like a shirt that had, you know, the DOF or a collared shirt or, you know, something else. But okay. it was really just those. Stuff. So I walk past her. See, I, I feel a little bit more of, of, bitch, don't give me directions. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't, don't ever. You can say your opinion, but bitch, don't ever give me directions, bitch. That, that's you wild. Thanks. I appreciate your smile, your energy. You have a great aura. Appreciate I really that. am big on that. Like oh, yeah, you your know. smile. A lot of people comment compliment my smile and say that I have a smile that makes others smile. Oh, really bitch, I'm like, okay, well, it's not about you. Next person. Everyone else smile. <laughs> yeah, you know that. So, I ain't seen that, that smile yet, so uh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here, Arizona. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you never thought about leaving, doing something else? Yeah, I'm actually planning on leaving soon. You ever did school or anything? Um, yes, I have a bachelor's in health science. Oh, okay. Health so what science, you do for uh, what you do for a living? Flight attendant and a makeup artist. Oh, okay, you're going to go into the health department? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, no, if I they weren't paying so enough money. Personal goal that I wanted That's to why. accomplish. I'm just saying the oh nigga. God. The nigga is yeah. is a young. He's a young killer, nigga. He's a future killer, nigga. This nigga just needs some help. With getting my bachelor's, which I did, so which is something I'm keeping in in my bag in case I got to use it. Oh, okay. He knows how to engage them. Though, yeah, and he's looking at him in her eye. He's not intimidated. So wait, real quick. So. What you um? What you bring to the table? Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. That's why he needs help. It's on the table. That's why, yeah, he needs to tighten up. Yeah. I bring <clears throat> communication. I bring groundness. I feel like the world is crazy, especially as a black man when dating black. Men. Let me go. Let me let me speed up. Man. Let me go to the next bitch. All right. Okay. And now is Josette your type? No. Okay, why not? That nigga said it off top. I think she got a good head on her shoulders. I just think she looking for the wrong things. She know what she want, but I think <clears throat> she looking for the wrong things right now. So I'm not your type because of your 
you, the way that you think I am? Because you like that I'm in law school. You like my smile. No, I just got like that. Well, I said you congratulate. congratulated me. Yeah, because okay. that's an accomplishment in your personal life. Hold on. This nigga's... Hold on. The way that you think I am? Because you like that I'm in law school. You like my smile. No, I didn't say I like that. Well, I said congratulate. congratulated me. Yeah, because okay. that's an accomplishment in your personal life. Okay, so you I'll be happy know. for my friend to graduate law school. Like, I, I, you know, like if you see somebody on social media and they say that they just graduated. You should have just told him because of my first that's impression. That's just a human trait <laughs> that you should be able to congratulate other people on their success. You don't like that, though? Do I like it? I, I, I don't think that that's something that. I can put in the category of like or not like. I think that that was a personal goal that you accomplished. And so me as a human being who was raised correctly, I feel like I should congratulate you. I feel like everybody should congratulate you. That's something that is hard to accomplish. And you did that. Because you said, you know, you like a person with a good smile, light up the room. You say you like. I didn't say liked, I liked it. You, well, you said you. I said I yeah. See, now he's wasting time right, right now. Okay. Move on. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and, and, and that's, okay. that's his aura. immaturity yeah, that's I, I and his like, age yeah. coming through right there. Aura, that's his immaturity. He should have said, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Say that, yes. All right, so if you like the aura mm -hmm. and you worried about the swag. I'm not worried about the swag. Why, why are you arguing with a dog? You don't argue with women, I feel like you might be too young. You might not be ready for what I'm ready for or what I bring to the table. What exactly is that? I just told you what I She just explained that. Okay. In a conversation. Too much, too long. We communicated. Who you is. Anna Marie, why'd you up? I do care about appearance and I'm a loctician myself, so okay. I do feel like you probably should have came with a retwist. Oh, a retwist? And yeah. a suit on? Yeah. No, you don't have to put a suit on, but you could have cleaned the shoes up. The maybe, shoes up. maybe not have like a a windbreaker outfit on because they did tell us to come like we was dressed for a date. Okay. So it's just like, if you would have came a little bit no, more presentable out. for a date, then right, I probably- Wait, 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 let's, let's keep it a buck. If them motherfucking bitches are down, they don't give a fuck what you wearing. You know what they're gonna say? That's a cute outfit. I like that, mm. I like that jacket. I like mm. you guys. Guys, don't, gentlemen, please don't let these women lie to you <laughs> motherfuckers. And when these motherfuckers are down, you, you can have potato, not to say you wear potato sacks, but I'm just saying they will compliment you on everything because they're mm -hmm. looking beyond clothes and shit, man. These motherfuckers lying and shit. Go ahead. You lying. I'm going to pop my bubble. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's so You believe in God? I do. So you got the cross on? Yes. Yeah, so what you do, you say you in the legal field? <sighs> yeah, we ain't got time for that nigga. He's, hey, he's that shit look good, though. You know what I'm Thank you, and it's Al Natural. Hold on. Hello, Jessica. That shit cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a, you got a BBO or that's your real body? Yeah, I know. Okay. Do a 360. Can wait, we get wait, 360? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, Phil. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, Phil. Yeah, he said, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just saying. Oh. Just said she, she working with us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look like, okay? Hey. And I'm going to show it off every time. I know, that's right. <laughs> hey, that should look good, though. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, and it's Al Natural. Yeah, yeah. What's your necklace say? Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank oh, you, God. Jessica. I'm it, though. Okay. He got a, look, I don't give a fuck. The nigga got bitches laughing, mm. strolling. They got action. They got action. I'm Kayla. I'm What's up, Kayla? And Kayla, why'd you end up on. popping your balloon? Double bless. <laughs> uh, honestly, I just don't like the shoes with the outfit. Okay. Yeah. But she a liar. I do agree with some of the other She's ladies. She's a liar. Like your energy. She was the last one to pop her balloon. Look, she here she go. Like your smile. Look, she agrees she with the other ladies. She said. She was throwing it off. All right. Show. And now, is Kayla your type? Uh, She cool, but nah. Hey, I like to watch, though. Why not? Why is she not your type? Because mm, I feel like some of them saying the shit just because it's like, don't rate me. Like, I feel like they just repeating each other. Okay. I don't really think, like, they say what they want to say. For oh, yeah. Oh, that's he called him out. He said, hey, I just think they saying it now because, you know, the, na the neighbor saying it. You know what I mean? But I don't right. agree. I don't agree with that. When a All bitch right. is into you. Like that one, that first one, she got that balloon. She stood on her shit, nigga. Hey, I, I like it. Let's see what he got. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, though. I don't follow others. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm 28. She should not pop her balloon at all. Taylor, why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> um, it was just, the like, I think, you know, we're all coming in, and, you know, sometimes there's nerves, but it was like, kind of like toddler walk, but then as soon, like, I, 
I'm not one to like dr- uh, judge how someone's dressed because we all have different styles. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like as soon as I was hearing you speak and everything, I really appreciate the level headedness, your conversation and how you speak. Appreciate that. Um, and then I was like trying to read you. I'm really into astrology. Okay. And What's your I, sign? I was going to ask you first. No, I asked you first. Uh, well, I beat you to the front. I beat you to the front. You're giving Gemini or Sagittarius or Capricorn. I'm definitely Gemini. Okay, I, I felt Gemini first. Definitely Gemini. Um, and that's another. Uh uh-uh. uh. What's your sign? Um, you yeah. guess. Just one. You a water sign? Yeah. Mm, Pisces. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, but we gotta stay away from this. Shit. I love communication, and your energy is very contagious. Like I don't think it's just we're women. We feel so. I feel okay. like I can, can feel you. Can you pause you it? Can you pause it? Can you pause it? Guys, 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 guys. Don't don't let women get you into that whole astrology zodiac sign shit and then having her making these preconceived notions okay. and judgments based on that nonsense. Yeah, she was like, he was like, okay, bye, geez, okay, okay. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Get back to the orange bits. Let's close this out, nigga. That's your heritage is on? Uh San Diego. Close this out, man. Let's go in here. <laughs> Shit. All right, Fiona, why did we pop? We oh, pop? my God. We were doing so good, but, I mean, once I heard Gemini, that would have sold it, too. Oh, me. my um, God. But prior to that, I can just tell that you are an excellent lawyer, but I can tell I that, that you like to argue. Um, your conversation is more of a debate versus um, actual, genuine conversation. So Okay. Um, and you know that what know she's saying? You like to tell motherfuckers what to do, and you ain't gonna you gonna stand on some shit. So sometimes bitches are not worth your time. I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight up, nigga. I'm a, some bitches is just not worth your time, dog. You gotta get the fuck out of there. But look, look, look. We about to get a body here. Um, I don't know if y'all want to announce anything. I know Zag and uh, uh, Steve got a show tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Y'all get a hey, big show tomorrow. Y'all, y'all do y'all thing, man. Um, y'all tune into my niggas. Tuesday, you know my favorite topic. You know. Yeah. Then we got pineapple so, Wednesday. We're gonna be pineapple Wednesday, man. Um, and then and then we got uh, I know I know Zag has uh, him and Jay Roman and Miles. They do uh, so Zag shows on Saturday. Uh, Return to manhood, right? Yep, yep. So then we got you know, of course, real games. Uh, Real Game No Theory on Sunday to podcast, man. Y'all go ahead and peep us out, man. But look, man, before we go, man, I got to play this intro again really quick before I get up out of here. It was fire. I'm going to be everything to you. I'm going to be your father. I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to be your lover. But you got to believe in me. You got to believe that everything I tell you to do is for the best. Mac Game Mondays, you already know the vibe. Helping you to level up till your game is certified. Getting women, make it look easy. And with Mr. 1950, J. Roman, and K. Zag, Steve the Dean Williams, what's happening? Give you the game, make you official. You ain't a lame, show you how to approach and get the number every Monday. So you ain't gotta wonder. Mac Game Mondays, Mac Game Mondays, let's go. All right, y'all. We up out of here. We out. Peace.